Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we got it. Hey. I think I can hear myself. That sounds good. A little bit quiet, maybe. You guys do some talking, and we'll make sure that I can hear you. I mean, Test? everything looks good except for Vale and Razor. Yep, we're in the wrong spots. Uh, how did we all get in the wrong spot again? What the shit? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just those two. <laughs> oh. All right, I got that. All right, so how do, how do we switch those two's name so that they swap Well, spot? see, the solution here is Rob this, has to play the loving, naive, beauty-focused character, and Greg has to play the edgelord that knows everything. Yeah, I like this. All right. And talks a lot. What? Wait, no, you don't. <laughs> you up here. Uh, it's still... Yep, there you go. Yeah, you got it now. Yes! I <laughs> know, I know. Okay, that. there it is, there it is. I think did I'm a, a couple seconds behind you guys. I did it. Oh, uh, look at that. And we've got uh, Dean and Jen hanging out. How's it going, guys? I, I'm going to try and pay attention to the chat, but I, I, no promises. Probably not. Uh-huh. It's okay, we got you, chat. <laughs> okay, so, Elder Scrolls. Here we are again. You guys last time had uh, found a village that was not doing too hot uh, and basically resorted to banditry of its nearby area to supply itself over the last six months or so. There was a church with uh, supposedly a frost atronach in it. You guys did not. We didn't go in there. You know, that's that's how RPGs. We don't know what the players are gonna do. Uh, you dealt with what did basically turn into banditry. You got rid of uh, their power hold over the that little village, and also revealed that they had murdered one of the villagers some time ago and tried to cover it up uh and with that they uh they gave you their thanks they give you some clothing you guys actually have normal clothes uh yes uh they I gave guess. you a spare bow and arrow that they had thank god they and they loaded <laughs> you up with a little bit of of food and uh other supplies that you might need Mm -hmm. for the remainder of your journey uh, the roads are were still are still dangerous i was kind of operating under the assumption you uh were not traveling strictly by the roads as you continued uh eastward out of the village towards the imperial city with a satchel with an elder scroll inside of it carried mm -hmm. by veil um and that's when you caught the glimpse off in the distance. You can see this this shiny, you know, it's, uh, uh, I guess it would be sunset. This is when the sun would be to the west. And uh, this it would, you know, shine off the tip of, I guess it doesn't matter. It would, the, the, the tip of white gold tower shining like a little star off in the distance. Um, yeah. You continue onward, I'm assuming. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, and signs of civilization start popping up more and more frequently. The first th things that you, you notice is like you're walking through, I know lots of trees and shrubs and bushes, kind of new, new growth, it almost seems like. Uh, and then you realize that these trees, these are that have, you know, maybe rotted apples, some apples on the on the gr on the ground, because they haven't been mm -hmm. picked. You're actually standing in an orchard. And the only way you can really tell that is because the trees are spaced out evenly as you kind of march through. But other than that, it's hard to even notice because of all the the weeds that have grown in just the last couple of months. And then you guys, you know, eventually come to one that is. You know, when it, uh, like a little farmstead that's has been cleared out, and there's people working away at you know getting rid of weeds, pulling up uh, the growth, and they are collecting. You know, they're going through what uh, a food has grown and what's fallen on the ground and uh, sorting it. Um, 
and it's a mix of it's a mix of different folks mostly poor looking people as you guys get closer and closer mm -hmm. um what are your thoughts i want to know what your characters are thinking uh, or what do they say to each other what, what do you share with with one another yeah do it role play i force you go <laughs> we'll get it right on that <laughs> hmm probably look equally excited uh, as the last time we came across civilization. Maybe even less so. Mm. What a surprise. I know. Shocker. For the Bosmer, obviously nature-oriented person to be like, Ugh, cities. Ugh. Clearly tribes work. <clears throat> Clearly tribes work a lot better. Um, leaving people to their own devices is just extremely God. Some people are. The, the word you're looking for is efficient. Leaving them to themselves. Tribes work mm. well as a unit together. Everybody does something and everybody feeds each other and takes care of each other. You're no stronger than the person who's next to you. You lift each other up as well as pick them up when they're feeling down. Better to be alone then. Well, no, I don't think that's what her point was. <laughs> Greg, are you muted? Oh, yep. you might be muted. Yep. You are. Yeah, that, you, would, that would be a, a yes, because well, we can't hear well, you. Well, you're moving your lips without making any noise. One of the two. Mm, One clever. of the two. It was like, no, he's taking in all the destruction and uh, like just being gripped with the terror of... None of this is he's, beautiful. He's been struck mute Dear by, God, by no. the <laughs> tragedy of this all. Yep. Oh my God, the unwashed masses. Keep them off of me. They're beautiful in their poverty. I mean, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Still can't hear you, Greg. Yep. He's. We'll give you a second to. to... To get in here, he's, he's bred. He, what? He's bred. He's bred. And now, uh, oh, there he is. There's back at, after staring off into the distance of the city, as his heart leapt now that he sees civilization ahead of him. Uh, he he looks back towards the people collecting food and the conversation of the group, and he's like, "Well, they are helping the tribe, aren't they?" Yes, exactly. So? They're gathering food for the city. Clearing farmland. Yep. Surely that's not enough nature. to feed an entire city. Uh, no, but it has to start somewhere. I guess that's true. Yeah. Never thought of it. And when maybe your words are, are a little bit prophetic, A, because the city is struggling to feed everybody, but also... As you get closer and closer, move into the this valley. Um, there's this big lake, or I mean, I, I guess I call it a lake, but it's the geography of the the map is weird. Uh, anyway, this giant lake uh, with a big island at the center of it that the city sits on, right? Mm -hmm. So you can you get a get pretty good view of this lake as you're coming in, um, and you can see, um, you know, the video games I don't think do. Uh, the whole area, the city justice, and like how big they the the lore says the city is and whatnot. That that entire yeah. all along the the coast around this lake and down further south would be towns and villages, and mm -hmm. and you can see those. You can see little you know fishing villages all over the place. It's uh, the the richest fishing. That anything else, there's always been enough food coming out of there. And then there's uh, f out further in the valley is, um, you know, farmland, vineyards, apple orchards, uh, wheat fields, anything that you could think of growing is, you know, there's some field out here that had been growing it. Um, a mm -hmm. lot of them, as you guys have already noticed, They've start, slowly started to recede. Some fields aren't being worked, but you can see that it's, it seems like people are coming back out and getting to the fields that, that they couldn't manage earlier. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and, and yeah, you, you eventually it gets hard to even avoid the roads um, as you move more and more. Uh, and eventually uh, you, there's, there's two riders wearing armor, imperial armor, that come kind of, I was going to say running, but they're really just probably probably sauntering their way down the road um and and they see you uh and they will hail hail you down uh greetings guardsmen uh by the nine divines uh we haven't had many travelers coming down this road from the east Mm. Are they look kind of at your supplies and stuff, and they are, are they? Is there anything uh, anything we can do for you? Anything? Uh, no, Have but you, uh, what we uh, should we should tell you about a town we came across recently. Uh, at which point I proceed to give them the details about the town and the villagers and their situation and that they decided to more or less leave and that there's an Atronach locked up in the church uh, and that maybe they should do something about it. Maybe uh, if the government's still uh, paying the Adventurers Guild to do cleanup work, as I'm sure they still are, they, they might be able to handle it. Or the Fighters Guild. Um, One of them, I don't know, takes out uh, like a scroll and parchment or something like jots down a note of what you said mm-hmm. and um did uh did you get uh, the name of the village by chance uh what was the name of that village again i don't think we ever came up with one no i don't think so either i uh the village of willowsboro <laughs> the willowsboro nice yes. yes the willowsboro Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, they're like they, the guards look at each other and like, uh, uh, haven't heard of that uh, town, but um, it's a similar story all around. Mm-hmm. Um, especially the further west you go, the less we know about what's going on. But right. have no fears, citizens, for the empire will rise again stronger than it was before. We will. Everybody will be protected. Let's hope not. Of course. The roads uh, from this point out should be safe. Yeah. If you are you headed to the city? Yes. Good. Uh, you will need to make sure to check in with the uh, uh, the officer on the bridge before you make your way across mm-hmm. or with the uh, with one of the ferrymen mm-hmm. as uh, they are trying to control the number of people who enter yeah, the city course. but good luck on your trip well i'm sure they'll make an exception for me <laughs> but what uh reasons do they use to keep people out or in uh, I think it mostly has to do with the food rationing. We can't have yeah. too many people inside the su- inside the the city. Yeah. Uh, Resource management. Or we need we need to know how many there are so that we can locate our the the food. Right. So those with food can go in, and those without stay. Uh, they kind of look at each other like, well. It's not unheard of for uh, imperial officials to have taken a bribe. And um, honestly, I'd say that it seems to have increased given the shortages. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand. I was just talking about food. Well, that can be... uh... If you have food to bribe uh, someone with, they might let you in. Considering food is a... Pretty invaluable commodity at this point. Which is why I'm sure they're trying to do their best to get as many people who are huddled inside the city to get out and working in the fields. Which is what I'm assuming is what we saw on our way over here. 
Yes. I'm, the... I'm sure there's plenty of farmers out there who probably died during the crisis, and those farms need to be worked. Yes. General Andrigar is organizing the reclaiming mm. of these farm farmlands. Good. Can you spell that? A N D R I G A R. Thanks. <laughs> Glad somebody's writing this stuff down. Yeah, me too. Not I mean, a brainy character. I'm writing stuff down. <laughs> so uh, yeah, with that they um they. I guess they probably don't salute, but they, mm -hmm. whatever, and uh, <laughs> continue on their way. Um, That's good, Greg. <laughs> not a lot of uh, travelers. This this still this kind of far out, but uh, again, as you, the, the the point is, as you get closer and closer, more and more mm -hmm. people, and the roads. Uh, you do start seeing other travelers, people moving to and fro, collecting uh, wagons full of uh, uh, food that had been picked from uh, fields that weren't managed. Uh, mm -hmm. You pass small villages uh, that seem a bit dilapidated, but still uh, there's people there. And, and it actually maybe starts to surprise you the, as you get closer and closer to the and you can uh, to the bridge is where probably the closest main point. Uh, but there could also be a ferry if that's what you guys want to do. Is there's mm. boats that go across? Well, I don't know if we have the money to hire a boat, do we? We don't have any money. Why would we hire a boat if we could just swim? Uh, no, nope, nope. Uh, is there a more solid way of getting there, or is it just all water? There is. There's a bridge. Okay. Swim. Um, Can you not swim? I don't know. I've seen... Nope, I haven't even seen it. Um, no. I've never seen water. I never what is swim? I've, I've I never drink I've, it. I've seen water. I've just never seen this much. Well... Uh. Uh -huh. There is no time like the present to learn a skill for survival well, uh, as also, important as swimming. Yes, but I think if we swim across, wouldn't that be, like, illegal? Uh, I they mean, would assume that we're trying to enter illegally. Yeah, probably. There's uh, also the slaughter fish, which is something to be worried about. But I hear their scales go for a good price. Yeah, you know, you do have to, all you have to do is fight them underwater. It's fine. Yeah, that sounds real easy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take so? the bridge. And no, no, I've uh, done it from the shore and with lightning spells. So. <sighs> if we need food to bribe our way in, I suppose we should do some form of hunting or gathering. I don't, I don't think we're... I mean, that might be necessary, but I don't think it's going. Can you eat these slaughterfish? Yes, actually. Yeah. And they're dangerous, so it would probably be best if they were... Um, dealt with anyways, right? In theory, are you, yes. Are you volunteering us to fight them on your behalf? Um, I mean, I, I'm just... We need food, right? So, um, they are food, and uh, solving two problems at once. Or we could go for easier food. I mean, perhaps we should try the bridge first before we offer our services to assist. Uh, yeah. Let's try and just cross the bridge first before we spend our afternoon gathering and fishing. And um, uh, you guys are all wearing gloves, right? If I remember correctly. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Cool. To totally normal for people to wear gloves out traveling. Normal thing? Yep. Normal. Totally normal. Totally cool. Hundo, hundo P. <laughs> Okay, so it sounds like bridge, and yep. all right, um, yeah, and again, I'm gonna press it one more time. You notice more and more people, and it it, it really starts to as you get close to the west side of the bridge. Um, there's 
people everywhere. I mean, there's basically a, a small city in, a, in its own right situated here on the west, the west end, um, where there's traders and hawkers and all sorts of things going on here. Uh, livestock moving around, horses uh, stomping on uh, the dirt that's been tread on many, many times and is maybe a little over over traveled. Um, and there is a small like line, maybe about 10, 10 people, and that's at the entrance to the bridge. And there's a group of guards, uh, imperial soldiers, uh, that are just inspecting everybody's wares. Uh, and there seems to be somebody who is taking down names as uh, they go in. Uh, some of them are getting handed something some little piece of paper or something as they go in uh, but most people don't seem to have that or they show some they show some other like document and they don't get the piece of paper mm. um just gonna be less and less outwardly comfortable mm -hmm. like still very unemotional face but body language indicates that i don't like where we're going um, what a shock. I know. You guys stand in line? Is this what? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, as you're standing there, you notice that um, the way that this bridge and its kind of first tower facade, uh, as you stand in the right spot, and it, it lines up um, with where the white gold tower sticks up. And so it kind of creates this interesting image where like depth perception gets a little bit off and it looks really cool then you realize oh when the sun comes up it gets marked on different spots it's kind of this cool thing mm -hmm. uh built by the aliens also if you mm -hmm. notice the same sort of awesome stonework as you saw in the in the ruins that we in went the ruins. into but eventually you get to the front line front of the line and uh just like the people in front of you, uh, they, they say, next, please. And a, uh, a woman with uh, robes and imperial signia uh, and a big lit long list of names um, mm -hmm. steps up, looks at Bertolas first and says, name? Uh, Bertolas Barith. Jots it down. Uh, and have you been to the city in the last few months, Bertolas? Nope. Uh, very well. Uh, turns over, there's an assistant that steps up, hands him a tiny piece of paper, uh, and they uh, hand it out to you and say, uh, "For your, this will be your our, uh, food ration uh, for the day. Oh, well, thanks. Yes. Next, uh, young. Uh, uh, point at you, Greg. Hello. Wonderful city you have here. Thank you. We try. What's your name? Uh, I am Vale. Uh, I have uh, traveled far to see your city. Many have. Many have. And I'm assuming, um, looks around at the group of you. You're all together. Oh, yes, we've traveled together. We are on uh, an important quest, in fact. Oh, well, good luck to you on that, Vale. Uh, here is your ration ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, Dunmer, Mr. Mm. Master. Uh, um, <coughs> uh, Razor Vasdaragon, uh, Warlock of the Mages Guild. A uh, Warlock? Oh. Um. I'm sure the the, the recent uh, problems with the uh, Arcane University mm. have you, is that what you're here for? Um, I had no idea they were facing such problems, but I was going to check in with them. Very well. Um, your food ration? Uh, sure. Gives you one small and it's just like a 
like a little square of paper that has you know like a mm -hmm. s like sketched i don't know how they would make these back in the day maybe magic right well there's just a little symbol on it for food mm -hmm. uh red guard hello uh, what's your name Wynne keeps on like darting her gaze like over to the water and, like dubiously looking at it uh, <laughs> and then like, you're, like you're gonna fall in at any moment you don't know <laughs> and i finally like clicks with what you were saying uh and with like just a quick and succinct way uh win rigged her <clears throat> uh jots it down like profesh like you can take i mean maybe they spelled it wrong but like however people's accents people messing up saying their name whatever this person has dealt has written a lot of names and is just really efficient writes it down um and good luck to you and your compatriots hands you the thing uh, uh, and the last one you're not a dunmer you're a bosmer that i am uh and are you okay i'll be fine <laughs> so <laughs> kind of looks around like just looks over her shoulder like over at where the guard like armed guards are standing there and just kind of uh name neolo funneth oh oh traditional bosmerian name from something blah 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 here's your ticket uh thanks be uh be safe Parts of the city are uh, sometimes dangerous at night. Mm -hmm. Odd with As you. in every city. <clears throat> Thank you so much for your assist. And they see you through. Yeah. Um, they, it's not a big deal, but the got like the guards will ask to see into your packs, just to mm -hmm. like. You're clearly, I mean, you guys are just carrying traveling gear, so it's they're not gonna strip you down. Um, so they just kind of take a brief glance at your stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and any, then any comments on the giant broken welcome stone? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, giant welcome. Do you do? You, I mean, you've got who's yeah. got that? I believe I've still got it. I mean, you could shove it into a bag. It would be a little bit unwieldy. I mean, uh, that's more or less what. But it's, it's been. unwieldy. <laughs> this unwieldy bag that I've been hauling around over my shoulder and just like, yeah, here you go. Take a look. Well, and like they, they do. And they're like, Oh, and then they're, they're like, Oh, we overheard you say that you're a warlock with the mages. Guild. And they're <laughs> like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That, that tracks on you go. Mm -hmm. The bridge, uh, again, the video games, in my opinion, does not do it justice. My interpretation, it's, it's law. It's very it's long. Lot, it's miles. Yeah, it's a very long mile. It's uh, yeah, like a couple miles long bridge that's, and the city is massive. The city is huge. It's going to be a long walk. Yeah. Uh, I'll see, offer yeah. Win a hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Yo, Lilfen, are you going to be okay? No, just discreetly hold Win's hand. It's very solid and secure. Nope. Been standing sure for it's... thousands of years. Yeah, but today's <laughs> the day it's going to collapse. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm pretty I'm sure like I've got a water has. breathing spell somewhere. I mean, the rest of us can probably swim. We'll, we'll save you. You're right. Look, even if you do fall, I'll cast water breathing on you or, or water walking. Either one. Water walking might be kind of painful at a certain height. Well, it's better than drowning. I never thought about that. Physics. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, the the bridge is wide uh, as well, um, big enough for multiple carts to fit next to each other and pass each other. So, uh, and there are people walking, you know, making the trek. The ones that were ahead of you, and you see more people coming the other way. Mm -hmm. um, but at any given section along the bridge, you guys are relatively alone. And you make your way across 
the bridge and you get to the gate of the imperial city uh these massive white arches uh and you find yourself yeah in the west which i believe is the talos district the talos mm -hmm. oh then i had a map i think the western one is the uh Talos Plaza. Have you been to That's the cloud it. district? I go there all the time. Um, Get out of here, Nazim. And as you Nazim. as you step into the Talos Plaza, um, where there's a, a big statue to Talos kind of at the center of this thing, uh, you notice you look around and it's like uh, it wasn't so obvious on the on the gate itself, but the damage to the city is noticeable. There are buildings that have been, uh, you know, crashed in, and uh, there's been a lot of rebuilding here, mm -hmm. um, but Obviously they they still haven't gotten to everything. They're still yet. doing a lot of rebuilding. There's still signs of damage here, um, yep. even though you can see crew, you know, groups of of builders and and uh, people actively working on it at the moment mm -hmm. um yeah what's the plan you know uh you uh so there's two two things that you guys are mainly going for that i know of um there's the recommendation you got from uh kakira the khajiit mm -hmm. uh, who told you her friend eborg lives in the market district gave you the street uh uh name and number as well then you have the Sybil of Debella, which is likely to be somewhere in the Temple District, at, likely at the Temple of Debella. Mm -hmm. I would like to get this mark taken care of as soon as possible. It's probably yep. a good idea. Yep. It might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, if you hang out in a place, like if you go to get a drink or at a bar, and uh, people, you don't take off your gloves in a society that marks people with brands on their hands. If you're wearing your gloves in weird places, people notice. Yep. So we'll go to visit with her friend. Cool. So off to the market district. The market district, according to my notes, has heavy damage uh, and is also currently being rebuilt. Uh, a lot of the it's it's clearly focused though where kind of the money was or where their moneyed interests are rebuilding things so you can get access to a lot of the different shops all around but then if you get further away into the more residential section of this area which used to be probably pretty wealthy you still notice signs of damage all around uh you find the correct street take a turn there's uh people milling kind of wandering about this way and that going about their errands and in, in lives uh mm -hmm. these are uh small ha uh, uh, i guess they'd be sizable houses um the people here were probably relatively wealthy um and you eventually get to one the the, the correct number number 32 along this uh, this street, uh, and there's a little, like a nameplate on it that says Atania. Mm -hmm. A T A N I A. Um, mm -hmm. There's kind of bushes and shrubs here that are a little bit overgrown, like there's maybe vines kind of creeping down the edge of the building and like up on even onto the nameplate a little bit. Uh, there's a, a gate, little gate that you can swing, wooden gate. Uh, little fence, small, tiny, tiny, itty bitty yard, yard. Um, and then a, a walkway to a quiet door. No, it doesn't. You, yeah, yeah, you don't see any light through any windows at the moment. Well, who wants to knock? I will. Oh, I knock loudly, and probably a little harder than I need to. So angry. Hale's been really distracted throughout this entire trip, like staring off into space and kind of like 
almost lagging behind. So he's uh, that brings him back to attention. Every time he lags behind, I grab him and like, hey, this way, this way. There'll be plenty of time to look at that later when we're not marked. No lollygagging. The door, <laughs> uh, there's a pause. Uh, the door opens. Uh, it's a young boy, maybe eight or nine, Imperial by the looks of it, uh, is standing there looking at you uh, and looks at the group of you and kind of his eyes go wide. And uh, he looks back and he goes, Grandpa, I think your friends are here. I look behind me and there's nobody. <laughs> no, there's me going. <laughs> Perfect. And after a moment, a uh, uh, pretty well-to-do. I found a picture. It's almost he's almost too good-looking though. This picture is almost. But I kind of I kind of really problem. liked it. I, oh, I didn't save it into my stream thing. Hold on, I can do this, right? I can, I can, I can do this. I believe in me. We believe in you too. I believe in you that believes in you. Image. Throw an image up there, please. Uh, I just don't know where I saved it. <laughs> where did I put it? Oh no. Ah, well, I'm not going to worry about it too much right, right at this moment. No, I am going to do this. I'm going to get this up. Hold on. Quite a city, isn't it? It's <laughs> weird social pressure when we're on a stream that I... Uh, yep. It's... My character is looking around, too. I'm just going to do uh, this. Never a forest of stone. place like this. It's very permanent. This is the sort of place where people can gather, right? Like, the strength of us the strength of people is our ability uh to live together and to create things greater than just individuals like this like, like villages can't do this we've dirty tried. loud yeah i think i like how uh, we have all three of the reactions of uh awe confusion and disdain <laughs> disgust hey so we can see that guy right on the stream right it should be sure yeah, wow, that's a really cool drawing if you can see the stream yeah, I really like this. this well, yeah. See, he's a little too, a little too like gentlemanly looking, from what mm -hmm. I was imagining of my version of this guy. Um, right. That like that that beard is just a little too, a little too nice, a little too kept. He's got you know that really good looking strong forehead. Like the, his hair, that's not exactly what this guy, but close, close. Right. Um, thicker beard that's grown out a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. Still shows the same like uh, kind of scarring on the face over on the side, um, but uh, but moves gent gently as he kind of walks forward uh, and uh, says, uh, "Samnia, uh, don't don't get away from the door. I don't I don't know these people. Hello, strangers. Welcome to my home. What can I do for you?" Are you Eborg? Um, who sent you? Kajira. Hey, there's this wonderful Kajit lady in uh, Willowsburg. I forget. No, Willowsburg. Willowsboro. Willows Close Burrow. enough. Burrow Willow. Quite an artist she was. As was her son. Kikira. Kikira, sorry, I think I gave you the son's name. Oh, oh, her son. Ah, uh, it's been you. It's been a few years since uh, I've seen her. Um, yes. Uh, come in, come in, come in. Uh, friends of Kikira are friends of mine. And he steps aside. Um, there are a couple other kids you notice as you come in, um, in a back room. And they seem to be, you smell food. 
uh, and they're running around like getting s- s- food ready for dinner. These kids are. Mm-hmm. Um, he steps back and has a, a look at you, and um, <sighs> Kikira doesn't normally send a ragtag group my way. I'm just going to take off my glove and show him the mark. We did uh, we did her a good favor, and she said that you might be able to help us repay that. Run afoul of the law, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. It's very easy to do these days, it seems. Yeah, sometimes they don't want you feeding people. And sometimes they say you're drinking too much. I smell I've never heat. Had that. The heater is on. They turned it on. They turned it on. I, I could smell it. <laughs> it smells, yeah, like first heat of like, the year. There's like yeah. dust that's just hanging out down there that is now just getting sizzled. I, <laughs> oh burnt. boy! I hate that smell. That's why I got rid of all of my like baseboard heaters. I hate it. Hope nothing's, nothing's on fire. That's good. It's totally normal. It's totally cool. Got it. Let's, let's move this. This this looks flammable to me. I'm not going to put that next to the heater. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, Eborg looks at you and says, um, well, my name is Teleborgus. Uh, Eborg is a... Only my friends get to call me that. Mm. Teleborgus, then. I can help you, but I do not have the right um, tool here. It. Uh, you're welcome to stay uh, as long uh, until I I can uh, have someone go fetch it. Where can't is we it? just get it? I have a small. Um, Oh, you guys could go get it, I, I suppose, yourself. He kind of looks back. I was about to have dinner with the grandkids. If you guys wanted to go do that and come back. We wouldn't want to impose. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and go grab that and be right back. Uh, when should we return? Uh, as soon as you can. It should, I think, by the time you get there and back, I should... Uh, Oh, well, no. Wait a little. You can come back whenever. We'll probably still be eating when you get when you get back. It's not that far away. Um, he he goes and he gets a key. Does he? Does he? Does he? Yeah, he did. He does. He 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 walks over. Who said who called him Eborg? He hands you the key. Um, uh, gives a little uh, brief description. There's a small, it's just a, like a storage shed um, that's located it's six blocks that way. Or something like that. Uh, hmm. Which one of us looks the least standout-ish in this city? I look over at Bertolus. I was also about to look at Bertolus. <laughs> me? Yeah, I'm too good looking. I always stand out. It's either yeah. you or me. Uh, yeah, I, I can the go. key to Bertolus. Are you guys just going to chill here and I'll skedaddle? I mean, shouldn't we all go? I don't see it is not. quieter in here. Yeah. All right. Well, you stay there, then I'll go with Bertolas. That sounds good. Um. Yeah. Okay. We're splitting up. Bail, I don't want you getting lost in the city. So <laughs> stay here and keep like an I'm... eye on the two people who would definitely get lost. <laughs> That's true. Wait. Okay, I got it. 
Tie a string to each other. <laughs> Tie a string to each other. <laughs> Neil Ilfaneth, here's the leashes. Uh, You're in charge while we're gone. You're in charge while we're gone. Be good. Is there like promises? Like, are we Behave like yourself and don't <laughs> bury your head in the sand because you're in the big city. D uh, <laughs> that makes me more alert, not less alert. What was that one? Burying your head in the sand? <laughs> right, the oh. burying the hand in the sand. Like, Being maybe, in the like, city. <laughs> Goodness. Is there like a a map in here or in the in this like cavernous place people call a house? A what? Like a map of the city or a map oh, of a like map. of the world? Because I need to know like a you are here kind of a thing and see where home is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get oh rid boy, uh, Eborg here. I will be able to find one eventually. They they do make maps. Um, yep. but... Wait, are you saying you, Christina, need one? or? Well, I kind of like to know where I'm at. Okay. I'd like, I'm going to prepare to brace Wynn. Mm -hmm. She's like, where's the map? Where are we? I'd be like, okay, well, come with me. Put your arm over my shoulders. Okay. I mean, we're supposed to stay here till they get back, though, right? Yes. In theory. I mean... I'm okay. There's some beautiful maps. Razor, do you think they're going to be there when we get back? Uh, I give it about a 50-50. I'm going to put it in the Elder Scrolls general chat. Ah! But, uh, yeah, so that's why we should probably uh, hurry. Uh, yeah, so splitting up. Bertolas, Razor, you guys head out, you take the key and start moving away. Um, Teleborgus offers you guys food. He says, well, if you're going to stay, might as well. It would be rude of me not to offer um, a meal. Uh, kids, set a ex couple extra places. Set five extra places. And then uh, one of them, Samnia, the, the, the nine-year-old, steps up and he's like, but Grandpa, we, we didn't make enough. And he's like, guess we're making more. Uh, I have meat, if you will give me time to prepare it. So I hold up Skaven bodies. Skeevers. Skeevers. <laughs> they, he, he looks... Uh, Wrong game. I have the vermin tied. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Skeever, Skaven. They're all rats. You're right. Gross, nasty, too big... Yep. For a second, I was too much Karelian. I'll bring it back. <laughs> um, they uh, T Teleborgus looks at it, is like, is that a skeever? Yes, it's two of them at this point. Ah, uh, um, uh, well, you, you keep that for later. <laughs> Fair enough. It appears though that this offer of Food is quite valuable here in the Imperial City. You, he, your family does well. He kind of he looks over at you. Um, he, he and he says, "My th these children will eat. I will ensure it." I give him good. like an up and down. So some level of respect roll me, roll creeps in. Empathy? Ugh. Roll me an empathy. Is that supposed to be a skill, skill we're allowed to have? <laughs> uh, Who even has that? Is that the uh, right... Uh, I don't have my skill list, my Elder Scrolls skill list up again. Uh, I can give you a perception, but I am not uh, persuasive per se. If we had D&D &D stats, charisma would not be a high one. Dumpstead. Um, Basically, classic. Oh, ranger. it would be it would be like a probably like a speech or <laughs> perception. Right. Yeah. I, let's do perception. Oh, phew. Okay. Oh, sorry, wrong word. Play too many. Too many games. Fate style games. There you go. Oh, good. Ah. 
Oh boy. Well, average. Um. Yeah. No, you're right. You get some um, respect for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bertolas, Razor. Uh, they, they, uh, the rest of you, they, you know, they do the food prepping thing. They kind of. It's nice. They're a nice little family. Uh. You, uh, Bertolas, Razor. You guys are headed out, walking down the streets. Mm -hmm. Uh. Turna, you have to go down this kind of tight alleyway between two buildings to get to where there's these, uh, it's like a small courtyard and there are just rows of, I don't know, maybe they're about a meter wide and then five meters deep. And they're just like these little storage containers like, you know, we might have in our society right. as well. Um. You know it's 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 like storage number six along the line. Walk up. Who's got the key, Bertolas? Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah. You go. There's. You see that all these have little like locks on them, and, and just a nice little spot for the key to fit in. Uh, and then it like opens a thingy. Uh, but you realize it's pretty obvious this lock is already open. Well, what do you make of that, Razor? Uh, wonderful. Uh, open it up. Well, we'll swing that door open. Cool. You pop the door open, and a person comes out. Uh, back at the the house. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Uh, Very okay. nice. Well, then, if we're back at the house, uh, I pull the map from the wall that yeah. was hanging. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, sure. just pull it. No questions. Not not asking if <laughs> if she can. Just, no, just, just mine. And as like as Neilfulness is preparing her meal or everybody's meal of meaty whatever it is, I bring it over to her and I place it in front of her, despite what she's doing. Uh, uh, I ask, um, where it, where's the desert? There are two, but I assume you're talking about this one, and I point to Hammerfell on the map. Oh. Yeah, the Alakir. It's probably labeled on the map Alakir. Oh, that's very far. Yes, we are here and i point to the island with the imperial city on it just to make sure she knows all right uh she gets really quiet and she folds up the map and puts it in her sack uh, uh when you should probably ask the nice man if you can borrow his map oh that's 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 right. You you need to ask instead of because you guys don't. That that's right. Um, and I take it out. Uh, and I like put it in front of the guy. Can I have this? May I borrow this? Will you give this to me? I, perhaps we might be imposing as much already, given the offers for us and the food on the table. You need a map. Yes. <laughs> um, well, that map was, um, it was a gift and it's important to me. So I can help you find another. Yes. I look around, um, and I look at the kid, please. <laughs> um, maybe one thing you notice is, uh, he's, he does seem to be trying to set an example for the kid, like, he he when he says i can help you i will do it you know you're my guests this is what we do yes he's like very obviously telling the kids when you know when a friend of a friend shows up and they they call you by the secret name and they're they need help like you help them um 
What was that? Your question? Sorry. I got sidetracked. Yep. Christina. Yep. Nope, that's basically what I want. Okay. <laughs> uh, Map. I'm gonna pull the Daedroth materials out of my bag and discreetly offer them to uh, Teleborgus as payment. He, they are um, worth a good amount. He's like, that's um, unnecessary. It's more than... It's for the children, not just for your services. <gasps> Very well. Thank you for your gift. The kids will be happy to have it. <laughs> <laughs> just... No expression change, nod, go back to doing whatever I was doing before, helping the children set the table or something. Back out in the alleyway. Uh, yeah, this person collapsed up, basically almost is, yeah, there's a, there's a human body that's coming at you, Bertoles. What do you do? I put my left hand out to grab it while trying to draw my sword with my right hand. I think that's that doesn't need a roll. So you put out your left hand, draw your sword, you kind of catch him as he falls on top of you, and then the wave of alcohol smell washes over you as he kind of uh, breathes on you and kind of collapses <laughs> to the ground. And he was like, there's a bunch Ugh. of stuff in here. Um, and he was just like, propped up against the door inside this place and he kind of falls on the ground uh he's got uh what maybe used to be nice clothing but it's all kind of like worn and dirty and nasty looking um and he he sort of stumbles up to his feet puts a hand over on the uh the doorway to stable himself uh, and he looks up at the uh, the two of you and what what are you what are you doing here this R Razor why don't you deal with him I'll go look for the thing uh, are you sure that okay well you know what we're looking for you're not an idiot alright uh... <laughs> come on guy I know high praise I think <laughs> <laughs> come on guy I've I've been there have a seat. Let's uh, let's have a talk. Huh? Who sent you? How, how much have you been drinking? I can... I... Only two. Yep. All right. Well, that's the... Hey! The old, the he old look, Dolan response. He looks at uh, Bertolas, uh, and he's like, Hey, you can't go in there! That's mine! As you're starting to look through... I hold up the key, and I'm like, well, I have the key, so... Uh, yeah, we were given the key by the owner of the shed, so... You wanna, well, you you wanna weren't, explain this? You weren't given the key by the owner of the shed. I am the owner of the shed. That old uh, man doesn't own crap! He's... I'm glad we stayed behind. Wait, uh, dinner is quite nice, isn't it? All right. <laughs> well, uh, explain your situation then. Ah. And I wait well, here's the what, only what's your thing name, I'm sir? Explain Keep to searching. you. Oh boy. You have the intelligence of a troll's bottom foot, the mud, uh. The mud coming. Uh, it's. You've got it. Keep Watch going. Out your Go on. God, and he falls over backwards and like you know, can't can't even keep uh, his thoughts together. Keep looking for it. <laughs> sober, sober him up, can you? If I if if I knew how to sober people up with magic, I would have done it to myself, and I wouldn't have been in jail. Oh, that's a good point. Jail? Jail, let me tell you a little thing about jail. Uh, he's got kind of long hair. It's brown. 
He's looks tell like us, an imperial as well. Tell us all about your imperial prison blues. Uh prison is where they they take innocent people and they throw them into the jaws of oblivion that they cannot come back from. It ruins. I've known many friends who've who've lost their will to live, but not me. Not me. I kept it. I keep it, and I will. I will write it down. I'll write the pain. And hey, you guys don't happen to have any um, extra change laying around, do you? <laughs> not a penny. I'm afraid we're fresh out. Well, hey, I, I, you can't. I told you once already. Don't go through that stuff. Uh, don't worry about him. Uh, why don't you finish off this uh, quarter of a bottle of ale that I still have left? Ale? Would you? No. Yeah. What? Get his name. Ale's well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yep. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a poet. <laughs> You got it. You nailed it. Uh, uh, and he takes your uh, uh, ale and he takes his name. Uh, Bert, I'll ask you, you're looking through it. It actually doesn't take you that long to find the little, it's, you know, a couple inches long, has the thing. It was sitting like on a little rack with a bunch of other tools and stuff. And you grab that up and kind of there's a bunch of stuff, he, and maybe he's been living in here for, uh, you don't know how long, because there's, yeah, there's evidence, there's signs that he's been sleeping here. There's like uh, blankets and food stuff. Mm -hmm. and... Hey, Razor, aren't you a little concerned? For what? This guy, like. For what? His his state of mind? Oh, no, right. like, why Why was he in here? Why does he think all this stuff is his? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming he's crazy. I mean, not crazy, but it, I, he's been through a lot, so. And when you've been through a lot, you'll do things. Hey, sir, what? what's your name? Can you Can you tell me that, at least? My name? Yeah. My name is back at the house. Uh, <laughs> the kids are uh, kind of putting the last finishing touches on on dinner uh, with their grandpa's help. Uh, and I think Neil Lilfinith is also you're helping them do some food yep. preparation and whatnot. Um, one of the, the, the little girl here, uh, she's maybe six or something. Um, asks you if you know how to write. Of course. My, 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 I know how, I'm learning too. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I've started to learn how to do rhyme and soon my dad, dad, dad is gonna teach me the, how to do meter. Ooh, you know, I know someone who finds a lot of beauty in words. Veil. And I will gesture Veil over if he is paying attention at all. Oh, yes. Um. Veil, this uh, child here, I'm sorry, what was your name? Oh, uh, my name is... Sophia. <laughs> Good, Sophia. With, with five E's. It said just like that. <laughs> she is learning her, her letters and may be interested in poetry. I believe you have shared some of your poems with us before. Yes. Uh, I, in fact, I, I have one right here oh. that I have just I've uh, been thinking about as I came into the city. Do you wish to hear the poem, Sophia? <gasps> yes, yeah. Hold. No, you have to do it at. <laughs> we have to. And he, the 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 girl, like runs over uh, to the grandpa and is like, Grandpa, Grandpa, they have poems. They have poems just like Dad. And uh, the the 
grandpa's like oh, okay oh right this is a big deal just so you know Vale, they're really into this sort of thing uh <laughs> And so they like have a, they get a little set up, they like get candles together and they put them out and uh, the, the three kids come and like sit and listen. Um, I give a little speech at the beginning about how poetry is the beauty that we find in speech and language and that there's always beauty wherever you look and also uh, when you talk and uh, whatever you do. And that's one of those things as I... Uh, uh, recite a poem to them. We are together, but fall apart. We live as one, but see only ourselves. Let the beauty of life remind us we are not alone. Nice, nice. Polite good clapping. Job. First off, congrats. Good, good job, Greg. Thank you for having a poem on hand in the nice. <laughs> ready to go. Uh, but the kids, yeah, they're like, ah, oh, this, and they actually get sad, and they remember they're, they're like, I miss, I miss dad. And, I will uh, ask them about their father a little bit if that seems reasonable. Well, he'll come back eventually, and um, Teleborgus is like, uh, it's a sensitive topic. Back at the outside. <laughs> The old, you ask the old man, or the, the guy, what's his name is? He says, uh, my name is Aloran Atania, the poet. Kind of bows way too deeply. Mm -hmm. A poet. I see. Well, that explains a lot. It does. I am f famous uh-huh really yes i'm sure you're the poet laureate of the imperial city oh there's a group of poet laureates actually they don't really like me why is that i can't imagine why i punched the chapter lead in the face <laughs> nice oh what <laughs> maybe you should consider a career in the fighters guild Hey, already have, already got denied. What's next? Uh, well, let's see. You could try being a farmer. There's plenty of farm work. Out, you get out back the city. into the roots. I can't. I can't leave the city. I have children. Children, uh -huh. I need to... Uh, Son of a bitch. Uh, hey now. What was that? <laughs> Where was I? Mm. I needed. He takes a drink. <laughs> yep. Okay, Doing friend. Mm -hmm. Well. Well. Uh, interesting. Uh, we should probably just. Hey, what are you doing with that uh, brand there? Mm. What? Oh. Uh, what brand? What are you talking about? points at the you put it behind your back or something he like yeah i like put it in my back pocket and like make sure it's hidden he's like it was right there a moment ago oh well why don't we help you uh get your shed secure and that way nobody will break in and take anything yeah no one no it i'll take the key he holds out his hand um Sure. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Just give him the damn key. Uh, I, I hand him the key, apparently. <laughs> Listen, there's the key. Why don't you lock up and just enjoy uh, enjoy your ale and the rest of your night? I will remember the ale that Mud on Boot Troll came and gave me. <laughs> It'll be a it'll be a great story for you to tell all of your friends. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling our friends too. Most of them are dead. What a coincidence! Mine too. Sorry to hear that. Uh, he he like some there's some clicking that goes on in his head as he stares at you, uh, 
uh, Razor, uh, mm. combining your earlier comments about like uh, getting drunk and getting arrested and like having alcohol ready to go. Uh, yep. And then talking about how your friends are dead. He's like, he kind of looks at you for a second and it's like, like you, you, you know, you know. I've been there. He sits down uh, on the on the floor and, and puts his back up against the shed, and he just kind of yeah. I uh, I'm gonna quit. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna farming. Yeah. That's a good idea. Farming. I could be a farmer. Or a fisherman. Either it's an one, honest living. Either one's a good idea. Put put food on the table. Mm hmm As I'm able. Yeah. Nothing's going to stop you from being a poet and a farmer, so. Yeah, that's what my, my dad, my father always said, that I could... Uh, have any profession and also be a poet, but uh, <laughs> I sure showed him. He kind of like mm. slides over and, sne and starts snoring or something. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. Should, should we take that key back? Mm. Uh, yeah, if he's unconscious, yeah, we'll take the key back. But we'll, uh, I think we should probably uh, put him back on his makeshift cot in the shed and close the door on it cool so you pack him up close the thing you left him the key no you're taking no, the we'll, key sorry we'll take it yeah we'll take the key okay uh and make your way back we'll head, yeah we'll head back um you guys at the house start to you know, they finish their food prep. They start eating. They do. Uh, they say a prayer to the nine divines, Akatosh in particular. Um, and like, thank you for saving our city, so that not everybody died. You know, sort of thing. Thank you for bringing us food. <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, dinner is a pretty uh, normal affair. The you know, the kids are polite, and like their grandpa keeps an eye on them. And they don't do anything too crazy. Uh, when the other two, when uh, Bertalas and Razor come back, mm -hmm. um, and there's two places set for you guys, um, and uh, Eborg's like, uh, oh, before it gets cold, quickly, and he like gets up and helps to serve you. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, thank you. Had an interesting oh. conversation with somebody. Uh... In your storage shed. Say again? Couldn't so wait until after dinner? Interesting conversation with somebody who was in your storage shed. He, um, he looks at the kids around the table and he's like, hmm, yes, yeah, a topic we could uh, discuss later along with, I'm um, assuming you found... Yes, we found the box in question. Good. And well, yes, discuss this later. Yeah, enjoy um, enjoy the food, and it's pretty good. I mean, it's not a like big, huge servings, but right. um, there's enough food to go around. A little miniature feast during the you know, after the apocalypse has happened, it's um, called for. Helps keep the spirits up. Um, dinner winds down. They clean up the kids and he starts getting the kids uh to going to bed um he does and, and again they, they see he he he's very thankful that they're on good behavior and he thinks because there's guests here and they're trying to trying to be good uh but then uh, he leads you he's he gestures down a hallway there's a stairwell that goes down into what looks like some sort of you know he's got all sorts of tools and things and there's you know barrels of of casks of wine over on one side looks like and 
uh, he's got a fire that he starts up and starts getting hot. Um, what happened at the uh, at the shed? We ran into a man that I can only assume is your son. That's what I thought. He's still alive, then. That's good. Still alive. Drinking. Barely. Still alive. It um, got out of hand, the drinking, after his wife died. I'm not surprised. I've been there, and I've done that. Some... Some people... Uh, can manage you know they drink a lot but they you they can manage but sometimes it's just it's it's very easy if you're in that spot then i've seen it happen to soldiers I've seen it happen to people it doesn't take soldiers, much fighters mages he had <clears throat> he had potential I think he still does have potential. Is it just the darkness of his wife's death that drove him down? Hmm. I wish that were the uh, all, all it were. It wasn't just his wife. He lost his friends, too. The crisis? If I'm guessing, he probably lost just about everybody. He still has his children and his father. Yes, but he's also living with the fact that he's his chosen profession of being a poet doesn't exactly put food on the table. So he feels inadequate. Profession. And to bury his inadequacies, he drowns himself in alcohol. It's a job when it's not that like... I would uh, not that I would know anything about that. It's it's a skill that they hone for money. Uh, however, he did seem rather earnest in his last few moments uh, of wanting to try his hand at farming. Yeah, or at least, you know, do something. Right. That, uh, but I think, uh, yeah, uh, Teleborga says he's been saying, telling himself that sort of thing for a while now. Hmm. We'll see if he ever gets around to doing it. Well, I think he will. I think he can be a better, a better person. I I hope you're right. Definitely got more of a spirited attitude than I ever did. Anyways, we got the box. So yeah, cool. So he he's got a hot fire. He sticks the little tool pronging thing in there, and he you know. Who's first? Wait, this, this looks like it's going to hurt. I'll go first. I will go first. Oh. So we'll all go first. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Rock, paper, first. scissors for it, Win. Uh, do we have rocks? Right. Uh... You go first. <laughs> That's how you win rock, paper, scissors. Oh, that was Yeah, easy. you just have to be denser than the other person. <laughs> I give Razor a look. I like how, uh, of those three things, it was rocks. That she's like, do we have rocks? <laughs> Scissors, probably a little bit more rare than rocks. We have calipers. This has like been a like a fairly clean place. Uh, rocks are not in the immediate vicinity. Hmm. Yes, true. So she gets hers removed first. Cool. Uh, and... Uh, I should clarify, it's not a removal, it's a, it's an add-on, right? So the first one that you get is, I'm a criminal. And the right. second one you get is, I'm no longer a criminal. And then the idea is, you know, if it heals up just fine, it means you've, you've actually repented. Your soul, your whatever the magic in you has noticed, and you are truly repent, you know. Yeah. Uh, but if it sticks a long time, then that that way people can tell. Mm -hmm. They know. Seems like a load them. of hogwash. Yeah. Probably is. 
Um, Depends on how much faith you put in the divines. Well, I'm sure Vale will have enough faith for all of us. Oh, yeah. No. I'm and sure maybe enough know. Magicka, too, if we need it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. So, yeah. we. How long am I going to be stuck with this mark? Get the brand. Um, so, uh, for everybody getting the ex-convict brand, it's going to be one physical stress. And then it's not a consequence, but a uh, you gain a temporary aspect of uh, ex-con brand. Mm -hmm. That'll stick for a little while. I'll take the ex-con brand. As it's still uh, it's still fresh. I mean, he he also put he has a not a lot of this. Like it's just a cream or a salve that he also puts on your hands after he brands them. He also gives you like a little a, like a stick to bite on. That sort of thing. I don't take I, it. I don't think I'm going to need it because Denver are fire resistant, so. Oh. oh, yeah, that's true. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a Denver man. Yeah. That just means we're going to have to make it hotter. <laughs> yep. Or one of those uh, freezing brands. Yeah, right. It's, it's so know. hot, it's cold. Yeah, you, you say, look at me, look at me, I'm a Denver, but like. <laughs> That's that sounds pretty great. So, <laughs> uh, then why do Does you drink it... so much? For reasons that are beyond my race. Oof. Fair enough. Like, Wynn takes a step back from between you who would are talking. You if it happened to you. <laughs> well, let me know when you feel like unpacking that. Yeah. Well, I'll let you know. It's Probably the same going. time the the booze dries up. And I'll drink if I want to. I'm going to remember that comment. My face may not show a mischievous grin, but there's a twinkle in my eye. Son of a bitch. Here we go. Purposely sabotaging. So he, uh, no. <laughs> he does that to all of all of you. Um, and he uh, he won't like maybe to some of you not biting down on the stick or uh, you know not letting out a gasp, which probably is fine for you. Like when you're probably like, oh, it's done. Okay, good, cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he doesn't he doesn't judge like there's no judgment coming from him if, for example, Vale were to scream out in pain or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, he is—he is a kid. So, how old are um, you? How old is your is Vale? I mean, he's like eighteen kid. and a half. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's, a, good he's just a boy. I, I round up to nineteen. <laughs> um, I'm only a year older. I didn't scream. I'm only I also went to war when I was fifteen, <laughs> but you know. Scream. Uh, yeah, I've not been stabbed before, or burned, or tortured too much. So, yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting stabbed. It's not fun. Stabbing. I look down to my like steel healing wound uh -huh. <laughs> that I took <laughs> on his behalf. Um, is there? I can offer you a place to stay for the night you would like but oh we wouldn't want to impose any further than we have you've done us a great service yes i think it'll if... honestly be best for the kids mm -hmm. oh for you to go on your way <laughs> yeah uh, regardless um uh, you should check in on your son he was at the he was at the storage shed, yes. It's unlocked. He's there. And the key is here, so. Uh, but yeah, go talk to him. Uh, and you, and he, you bring uh, that up? Yeah, you say that. Uh, roll, roll perception, everybody. Roll perception. Just a fun little, fun little deal. I did good. 
I did poorly. Rich. I did fair. Um, so, uh, I guess Razor then. Razor mm -hmm. and Bertolas. Yeah. Um, yeah. You notice the, there's a small figure over by the stair, like just like peeking around the stairs, watching mm -hmm. and listening to you guys. Oh boy. Well, regardless, as I said, you should talk to him. And I also think that it's time for uh, the younger ones to go to bed as I look over towards the stairs. Uh, Teleborgus is like, ah! To bed with you, young ones! This is the last time I ch I'll, I'll do this. And you know, he chases them off. And they there's a brief giggling and like, he, he, you know. And that's how you be a grandpa. Yeah. Nice Reminds grandpa. me of my tribe. You're a kind man, mud on boots troll. <laughs> mud on boots troll. That was a name uh, his son gave to our our friend Razor here. Ah. Uh. Oh, and I'm sure he would have given you just as equally a beautiful of name. I think it's very fitting. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh. Unless there's anything else to wrap up here. Nope. I think the group is moving on. Yep. Hey, yeah, where do we go stay? Well, if my name still holds any meaning at the Mages Guild, we might be able to crash there. Oh, sweet. Or at least trade these stones for enough gold to get an inn. Exactly. One or the other. Casey, there's no, there wouldn't be a, uh, no, there wouldn't be anything for the Knights of the Dragon around here, would there? Probably not. I mean, it's possible. A little far like, from home. If you want to be an influential Knights Order, if you don't have at least something in the Imperial City, so there's, you're guessing there's probably, oh yeah, but this day and age with what's been happening lately, yeah, probably right. not. Probably not. Probably not. Another option might be the uh, uh, a temple of uh, the goddess of beauty. Uh, uh, it is where I would go if I was here alone. Right, which is the same thought that I'm sure probably hundreds, if not thousands, of others probably have. So, well, but they're not. You know, they're not you. Yes, I I'm well aware. But all their free space is probably already taken up. Mm -hmm. But the best camouflage is sometimes in a crowd. Right. Depending well, on what we're doing. Depends on what you want to do. I have no say in this matter. Vale, do you want to? Thank you, Gia. <laughs> try your. your oh, of course, I would love to show you all the beauty of the temples, uh, and uh, all of the uh, the lovely spirit of those that are that are devoted not to war and and destruction, uh, like we have seen around us, but to love instead. Right. Cool. Okay. I'm not 100% sure where it is in the city, though, so I might have to ask around. Hmm. Okay. Well. Uh, do I see any beggars around? <laughs> like, true beggars. Not just refugees, but city-born beggars. Say again? Do I see any city-born beggars in the general vicinity? Uh... Where where are we? Are you guys out? 
we're still in the market district, right? Market kind of, district. That's where we haven't gone very far, I imagine. Yeah, so still in the market district, there aren't. You don't see. I mean, there might. You might if you go off into an alleyway, you might see one. But right here, there's not a whole bunch or anything. Well, we can ask a guard, or we can ask a beggar. If they know the city well enough to know where to beg, probably know the city well enough to know where the temple is. But theoretically, so would a guard. Well, I just randomly find someone who I think looks like they know the city, and I go ask them where the temple is. All right, well, that works. Uh, yeah, there's a few evening shopkeepers, people around. You ask one of them, uh, where's the Temple of Debella? Um, in the Temple District. Oh, and could you point us that direction? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yeah, no, gestures. New uh, to the city, you see. One. Exactly where it's the Temple District is in the Imperial City. Directly district. across from us in the Market District. Yeah. Like 180 degrees around. Yeah, I think it's yeah, it's close to the just guild. I had a labeled map earlier, but I exited out. And... So, as a side note, though, is it too late for us to go to the Sybil? The what? The Sybil of Debella. Uh, uh, it is. Late, I thought it was a place. Late, so yeah, probably. <laughs> Can't hurt to try. The sooner we leave the city, well, the sooner I leave the city, the better. Yes, yes. You really don't like it here, do you? I do not. So, uh, going to Temple of Debella. Travel through the city. Uh, as and the sun is starting to go down, getting getting to be evening time, uh, there is just a little bit of a change to kind of the feel of the city. Um, you notice more guards out wandering around at this hour. Um, there are there are, seems to be there there are more active. They're just more noticeable for some you know less people maybe the guards stand out. Um, yeah, just, there's just a weird vibe kind of. Do you notice? You're now just noticing, like, oh, there's some shops that are closed, and there's, oh, yeah, there are quite a few people who don't seem to have anywhere to go, and there's, yeah, there's, it's a, it's a city under stress, even, even magically, even its tremendous magical powers and whatnot are being pushed to the limits. Um, and you make your way to the temple district. Now, I've mentioned the damage before, um, but the Temple District uh, it was really, really... It seemed like the Daedra came here with specifically to, to wreck specifically things. Specifically with the intent of wrecking anything divine. Right. Um, and there I... has been some, like there's this... Um, is it in the Temple District? Is this where it happened? Now, am I remembering this? It is in the Temple District where Akatosh is, right. this is uh, right where summoned by the blood, and then yeah. Mayrunes comes in with his that. avatar and starts destroying yeah. everything. Right, so, so yeah, is, in the center is is the big temple of Akatosh, and it is... I think there's a picture. Um, and it its big dome has been like torn apart, and uh, I think there's a statue of, a, of the big bird, dragon bird thingy. Say bird, mm -hmm. dragon. It's a dragon. Akatosh is a dragon. Yeah. Uh, Lizard, bird, dragon, same yeah. thing. It. Uh, in and you can see it inside, and there are. You were right. There are lots of people here. There are people outside the temple of Akatosh who are like. They're just there, laying on the ground. You know, trying, starting to go to bed. But there's. Mm -hmm. There's people all over the place. Um. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Uh, you kind of maybe ask or wind your way through, or you know, if there's maybe even a, a sign that says "Temple to Akatosh here." Temple to. Well, 
Mara, that direction. Temple, temple to... Temple other than to... To pay homage to these gods? Yes. Like, that's it? And seek refuge. Surely even you've heard of the Nine Divines. I've heard of the gods, but we never really put too much stock in them. You survive yourself, and you don't worry about something that may definitely not happen. When one is unable to or f to survive by herself or finds herself without a tribe, I guess you might say, sometimes the gods will let you into their fold or or tribe, as you might say. They, this is a place for people to seek others to gather together um, to face this world uh, together rather than alone. Form new tribes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. If you need such things. Tribes are important. Uh, and I'm just looking for the most beautiful looking building and heading that direction. Ah, ah, Vale. If you're really, really jonesing for nature, may I suggest uh, the Arboretum that is literally due east of here. Will they let me sleep there? Uh, I don't think they could stop you from sleeping. What direction is this? East. I start heading east. Okay, see you in the morning. Hmm. I also need to go east. I'm going to go to the Mages Guild and deal with some things. And probably get a nice bed. I'll meet you back here tomorrow morning. I am curious how much those Welkin Stones will fetch at a place like this. Well, if you want to go to the Mages Guild with me, you can find out. I will. Good. Okay. Then we'll meet you guys back here in uh, the morning, shall we? Uh, make sure Already. You meet with the Sybil of Debella if you can, or if you can't, at least try and schedule an appointment. Uh, and mm, try and stay on the down low about the Elder Scroll. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. Of course. We totally won't mention the Elder Scroll. I mean, that'd be appreciated. And probably the Elder Scroll! No, I'm just kidding. The... Yeah. That'd be a terrible idea. I feel like Razor says that with a very pointed, heavy look at Vale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that way too. <laughs> it's not something to be taken lightly. An Elder Scroll is a heavy burden, and I need you to understand that. Nope. There are many ears here, aren't there? Yes. Yes, there are. And not all of them are kind. As we learned in the village. But I believe in Bertolus and Wynne's ability to keep you safe. Mm -hmm. As you, hey, in thanks. turn, keep that scroll safe. Right, yeah. Yeah. And that's why I feel comfortable leaving you. I'll be back shortly. Well, beautiful building it is, then. We split the party again. <laughs> Uh, I'm a, as stated in the Lord of the Rings game, I'm a huge fan of splitting the party. Yo, I mean, what can go wrong? Uh, I mean, also... Turned out great last time. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go to Moria. I don't think that was a good idea, coming from somebody who almost died. <laughs> great time for me and Bodhi. Yeah, we had a great time. I just had a great little romp in the swamp, and Bodhi spent her afternoon frolicking. For what swamp? Nothing happened in a swamp. Looking yeah. for bling. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know about you, Neil Lilfineth, but uh, I do not feel comfortable in churches of the divine. Neither do I. Hmm. Back to Wynn, who looks very uncomfortable following these two guys around. <laughs> I mean, if you want to join us, I'm not going to stop you. I would prefer you stay with them. Because if they get in a fight, Bertulus needs you as back. He's more of a tank than a DPS. I hear you. Ouch. Mm -hmm. But uh, you tank beautifully. Rub my scar. <laughs> I'm like a water tank or like a rubber tank or something. Mm-hmm. Right. Whatever also tanky. Off 
six star to somebody else. Like you know, one of those ones that you like stab it and water comes out of. Yeah. Right. Oh, got it. Exactly. Water yeah. tank. A water tank. Yeah. Uh, like, a, like a plastic bag. <laughs> okay. A plastic bag of tomato juice. Oh. <laughs> what I a stay... waste of tomato juice. <laughs> In this economy? Ugh. I stay very close to Vale. I keep an eye out around me, uh, looking around, uh, because I am uncomfortable. I'm looking for, you know, narrow do wells or people who mean ill will. This is an unknown area, and I'm not comfortable, so my parents are kind of up. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Why would your paranoia be up in the biggest city when, this continent when, has? When you're you're actually you're very conspicuous. Looks at my skin. Looks up at everybody else who's pale. No, no, really? not, not <laughs> because of that. More because of your mannerisms. It's you, yeah, you're it's obviously very paranoid. To see a red guard around here. It's so. Vigilance well, is important. Right, but like I've I've been around cities a little bit. Pickpockets look for people like you. They use your vigilance against they go you. At Vale, and not him, not people like him. Oh, oh when he says that, like double check to make sure I've still got the scroll. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't robbed in the five seconds he left me, did I? <laughs> Oh, I can just see the return scene now. A lot of uh, bridge pinching going on. <laughs> I feel like a I'm a of, double babysitter. Uh, a lot of, uh, well, you see what had happened was. <laughs> yeah. They take care of themselves just in different ways. <laughs> and Vale's actually the one with the theoretical connection here, so. Yeah, let's just, right. let's hurry on and, and get, try to find some sort of Lodging secure if possible. Waves you ahead uh, to get close to Vale. After you, you seem to know where you're going more than I do. Uh, you uh, you make your way to, um, and and you, you call it the most beautiful. It's it's very explicit in its um, demonstration. I mean I mean Debella has a reputation being like the sex god uh, and does not shy away from it really at all. And so there's depictions along the uh, the face. And it's it's more than just people having sex. There's more to it than that. Okay, okay, um, okay, okay. I mean, I can dig this. Looks but over it's... to Vale, looks over to Bertolus and to the pictures. So this is the god you... So Casey, when you said Debella, did you mean Mara or am I... I... Oh, are you going to the most beautiful as in the one of Formara? Is that where you're going? Uh, no, okay. So I just wanted to make sure that I've made that mistake. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Mara and uh, Debella, they are close in some ways. One's love, one's beauty, and, what, and also and love. And one is love and beauty. Yeah, got it. Yep. Uh, okay, but I... So I approach this, and, uh, you know... Things look a little off to me, so. No, it looks great to me. I'm like looking. I, I want to look for like you know the. I'm sure there's symbols of Mara that would be there and see if I can find them. Um, as we, but to, to be fair, I want to get pretty close to this before I start having this confusion. I. So like on the steps or something. True. I do want to say like if you if you, if Vale were trying to get to the temple of Mara, I think that's a likely. You could probably pull it off, but yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I assume I get here, and I'm going to identify this as the wrong temple. But I at least, you know, get to stand on the steps first in case right. anything happens. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's not what Mara usually looks. Oh, <laughs> stairs. Oh, there. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't think this is the right place. This isn't Debella. Uh, yeah, but is it like a place you want to stay? The place. You are an 18 year old male. Why would this not be the place? I feel like we'll need money to sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought, hey. you, I thought you knew a guy. Oh, this is uh, no, this is the wrong temple. This is uh, 
uh, Mara must be. I like look for a sign that says where is you know Temple of Mara, and I point oh, that direction. There it is. It's the one. It's next door. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, no. I, are you sure? Maybe maybe we should go in and ask just to be sure. I am pretty sure. I do know my mother well. If you want right. to take your time in here, I can take Vale elsewhere. No, I don't have the money for that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Let's be honest. <sighs> yeah, okay. Lead, lead the way, Vale. You have to pay for intercourse here. I mean, I don't know the rules. I don't either. But uh, to the other temple. Other than this calls for a preemptive uh, bridge pin. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're young mortals. We gotta give them a little bit of leeway. It is true. We basically made the uh, mortal versus non mortal kind of switch yeah. there. Split, yeah. didn't we? It's like, God. Letting all those humans maybe, wander off. Maybe they'll grow out of it in 60 years or so. Most of them will be dead. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Just a little dose of realism for you, Razor. Well, maybe Vale won't if his mom is actually a divine. Mm. No, we'll, we'll see how. Well, uh, we... anyways, head to the Temple of Mara. Cool. Uh, Temple of Mara. Instead, um, Mara does have. There is a number of people who are. Um, hanging out around the the entrance to the temple of mara uh and uh there's a um like a, a priest woman priest who is going around and looks like she's giving them uh food ah oh, this is the right place like it's and it's just Maybe like not a... it's like soup. It's like she's she's ladling out soup. Maybe not as tantalizing as the last place, but I like free food. I give him a you know a look and I uh, head into the try. I ignore her and kind of like I assume there's like someone at the door will be inside and that's kind of where I try. And I know we people. just I know we just ate, but like we've barely been eating for like the last week. Are you sure we don't need? You don't want to I... overeat. You'll get sick. I'll deal with it. I think that there might be others who need it more than us, Bertolus. Glancing around at the large amount of refugees. Yeah, fine, fine. You're right. I guess. So you step inside. Um, yeah, there's like a... Uh, there's a purse. Actually, coming... No, 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 no. That's something else. Yeah, right inside the door. There's uh, like a scribe or something. Uh uh, and greets you. Uh, welcome. I've come from a uh, temple far away. I tell him where my temple is from. Was that I the look one at my that was in uh, was south? What's that city that's south? Which city Ravil? that's south? Yeah, I think that sounds right. Is it Bravel? It's where the... Bravil uh, or Leowin. It's where the, the, the main temple of Tamara is, where it's... Yeah, I think it's Bravel. Braville? Braville. And, Cruella and, uh, Braville. Yes. It, it appears that the goddess has, has sent me and my companions on a bit of a mission here. And we, uh, can we speak to the, uh, I do the term for whoever's in charge, like the Pope or whatever. Yeah. Head, head priest. Pope. Pope. Yes. Holy. Um, really, the Pope of Mara. You ain't screwing around. Uh, the uh, cocks an eyebrow and is is like uh, the Pope of Mara. Uh, he's is actually um, on a mission. It's not. They're not here oh. at the moment. Good for them. Um, instead, I can have you. You need to speak to somebody about an important matter with of the church. Uh, yes. Of the cult. Of Mara. Uh, very well. I can have somebody meet with you uh, tomorrow. Uh, we are just arrived in town and have not uh, 
procured lodgings of your sort. Could we stay here for them before till we meet them tomorrow? I can add your name to the list, and when an av when a available spot is open, we can. Uh, then perhaps we best talk to them right away. Um, kind of looks at at the group of you and, and is like, I'll I'll be right back, and uh, uh, leaves to go fetch somebody. Uh, Razor and. Neil of Uh You are making your way to the mages, the university, right? That's what it's called. Arcane University. Mm -hmm. um, even from the outside, it's separated a little bit, right? It's off on its own like little pod, dealy bopper. Yep. Um, you can tell uh, it definitely did not take as nearly as much damage, or or they've rep rep you know repaired it better since then um and you kind of go through that law there's that connector that the city kind of big long artery of a of a street corridor yeah. um and then like down at the end there's kind of narrows down and there's a little uh, uh guard house uh and there's a couple of guardsmen who are hanging out guards women guardsmen hanging out there right Well, and they they, they stop you they stop you when you try and enter the the arcane university area right um, um have you probably been here mm -hmm. there's not normally guards here yeah this or at is, least uh, not normally guards checking people right this is a bit of an oddity you no know, they usually check to make sure you know allow people to enter the first part of the area, but they don't stop them from entering completely. Uh, uh, greetings. Uh, may I ask what the holdup is here? Uh, yes, only members of the Arcanum or the Mages Guild are allowed entry at the moment. Okay, well... Unless I'm... you have a writ from the Arcanum or the Mages Guild. Well, I'm a warlock with the slash mages. Guild. So, you're a member. Yes. Do you have? Uh, can you prove that? Do you have your little like? I don't know, like a ring or something that would prove that you're in the mages' guild. Sadly, I don't have that ring anymore. <clears throat> I lost it, unfortunately. However, if you go inside and tell them that Razor Vastoragon is here. I'm sure somebody inside will vouch for me. Uh, shouldn't be much of a need. We have uh, last resort here. And they uh, one of them goes in, pulls out their little little guardhouse here, pulls out uh, this kind of weird device. Um, if you're willing to give us a little blood, we can verify if you're a member or not. Very well. You stick your... They, they like put it over top your hand and it like you feel it kind of grab on and you feel a poke in one of your fingers like your middle finger uh and then it kind of your blood seeps down goes into this little d thing um mm -hmm. they pull it off and one of them pulls out a little like uh reader thing uh mm -hmm. and it glows red and he uh puts it back in and he's like uh well it's either not working or you're not a member so Either way, we can't let you in. Oh, well, snap. Can you, mistake. can you get somebody to come to see us? We have an artifact we have questions about, and they are the only ones we think can help us due to its nature. Very magical. Yeah, uh, yeah I don't want to pull a Karen, but I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, uh, um, you have that right uh, and it this it has been known that this machine does malfunction but i just want to say it's gonna we're gonna have to you might have to wait a bit is what i'm saying 
we're just going to have to go out of our way. <laughs> Duly noted. I'm going to hold up one of the Skaven. Or, er, sorry. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Skeever. Skeever. <laughs> Apparently I need to do another uh, playthrough of one of these Scrolls games, so I stopped calling them Skaven. I uh, hold up a Skeever carcass. We can make it worth your time to bring us to the top of the list, and we appreciate you going out of your way to help us in a time-sensitive <laughs> matter. Oh. You offer him a ski. You try to bribe him with a skeever, dead. Like Two a, skeevers, like, like a three-day-old. It's cured properly. I know <laughs> how to survive in the wilds. Uh, they look at you. We offer you skeever jerky. Uh, and they start laughing. Like, haha, this is the you know, the funniest thing. Like they they knee slap and they pat each other on the back and they they say good one good one you know what we'll 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 cut off a little bit of time on that wait for you and uh they send one of their number goes running off um to fetch uh, maybe an actual mages guild member or something their manager uh back at the temple of mara uh this is where i find out that i've been excommunicated or something <laughs> Uh, the, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, a, a priest of Mara, an actual rather than just a you know like a scribe or whatnot, uh, somebody who actually has you know very obvious signs of uh, being a part of the cult of Debella. Debella Mara, Mara. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just want us to get laid. It's okay. Mm. My uh, character concept where I'm the daughter of Debella or the son of Debella is way different, just to be clear. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, comes out and, and um, so I understand that you have an important matter for the church that cannot wait. Uh, Yes, I introduce myself. I, you know, I, I am Vale from the Temple of the South. I, uh, have you heard of me? Vale. Claim to be divine, Vale. That is correct. Ah, uh, yes. I. You had been. I from, from last. I. Forgive me. I don't. Things have been kind of crazy. The last year or so but i thought everyone from braville uh, at the temple were well we had we haven't heard from anyone hmm, that's a bit strange i have been on a bit of a quest uh mara has shown me that there are things that need to be done in order to bring beauty and love back to the world uh and uh, you can see these two are two of them that are assisting me in that uh, quest at the moment um, can't yes. unfortunately can't say much more. I understand, Divine One. Um, scribe, uh, will you please fetch the proper and it, and like just like this, you know, the doors open, and you guys have rooms. You guys have a servant that drops by. Uh, wow, food. you really do know a guy. Um, that was amazing. And they uh, they bring you in. Yeah, yeah. See, this is I'm making a point here. This is it's a li it's almost too much. It's like it, you guys are getting all this stuff. Like they bring you food, and there's there are people outside who aren't necessarily who are also getting food, but like they were getting chicken broth, and you have venison. I, I give virtuals look and go. Well, I'm, I guess it's better than the soup, huh? I should have let me eat the soup and then I eat the and then I eat the venison. Uh, yes, I, I do not actually eat my venison. I am full. Um, when is very I, confused. I set it aside for later and I'll tell them. It's like you might actually have divine blood. What? And um do you what do you say as far they, they yeah, they ask you what you're doing here and how they can you know what, what you're on a mission. Yes, uh, Mara has, 
has crossed paths with some great magics of note, and I uh, we have much to learn here in the Imperial City before we move on uh, to the to our on the quest. The end is still a mystery, you know, the ways of gods for me. Uh, but the next step is clear, and that's that I must learn um, from those here in the Imperial City uh, about the magics that will light my path in the future. I, I see, yes. Um, I, uh, Vale, uh, we, so we have heard of, and you're now t speaking to like their, their, their top, the top person who's still here, like the Pope is off again. Um, and they're like, uh, must much of this, well, well, the, the resources of the temple are available to you as long as you are in need. Um, it's, it has been our policy to, uh, <laughs> hold on, we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, uh we uh it, it is your journey ultimately and so we cannot we cannot achieve this quest for you of course i believe that i will only need one night here and then uh my path may lead elsewhere uh but i th thank you and uh the church and the temple for your assistance and i'm sure the lady uh, mara looks down upon uh you with extra grace tonight what kind of places are these temples for which they hand out meager things to these these poor poor people and then eat like kings here for people who claim to be of the people you are serving nobody but yourself uh, you've never heard room for this yep um I'm just like, like, this is just a hard concept for me to understand coming from a tribal unit into like this, where it's like, it doesn't make sense. Oh, well, this soup. Yeah, who, could have, who could have seen this coming? Right. <laughs> Nobody could have. The soup is easy to make in large quantities, and they don't fight over it. So we stopped giving out venison. But we do put some into the soup. Does your tribe not have a leader? Yes, we do. But he is it, treated just as equally as all of us. In fact, there is checks and balances in place to make sure that one does not overdo or overstep where they are supposed to. He eats among his people, like his people, with his people. As it should be. Oh. You no, nowhere else is like that. Obviously not. It seems like status, no matter what kind of chaotic, crazy, horrible, world-altering thing happens, there is still selfish people, no matter where you looked, veiled between golden gates and white walls. A fair criticism. And honestly, like, uh, they don't, they don't, they, they don't want to really keep participating in this conversation and they'll eventually <laughs> excuse themselves. Um, but it's not like what you say, they're not like, oh, that's horrible. They're like, yeah, it's true, but we can't do it. Like, we're doing what we can. It's kind of the, the feel. Of it. But and they seem ashamed a little bit at, at what you say. Um, but uh, you don't, I didn't hear necessarily a personal attack in that, so none of them necessarily take offense. It's just, it's a hard, uh, like, idea to grip upon. It's like, kind of like culture shock is happening. Yeah. Okay, back at the uh, Arcanum. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell by the way that his robes uh, shine with magical energy uh mm -hmm. he's also you clearly got a ring that's magical um his his hair high elf long hair kind of mm. messed up mm -hmm. um and he's throwing on like an outer 
cloak over his robes. That is also, you can see it shimmer a little bit as he kind of sets mm -hmm. in. Uh, immediately he feels warmer. Uh, <laughs> and he walks over to where you are uh, and the guard is escorting him up. They're still, the, the, the guards that were here, I don't, they'll bullshit with you. They'll chit chat. They'll talk about the city. Mm -hmm. um, and that sort of thing. Um, yeah. They might even, eh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll just keep pushing forward. Uh, mm -hmm. And the, yeah, so this mage, high elf, comes walking up. And uh, uh, what what do we need this for? I, I am here to, uh, because I understand that someone disagrees with the results of our membership test. Yes, I think it's faulty, or it was instituted while I was absent. Yes, there have been many changes of late. And if you have not been around, then I, uh, yeah, I see how you could end up where you are. Though, you could also not be a member and be lying. Mm. So... What is your name? Razor Vas Daragon. And uh, Bosmer, are you... Wait, did you say Daragon? Yes. No relation to the Daragon that uh, was in Vivic during the Oblivion Crisis. The very same. Ah. Well, then I can tell you confidently that we have no business with you for the rest of uh, your existence. Have a nice day. I see. <laughs> can you tell me why? The crater where Vivek was is why. Now have a good night, I say, or there will be trouble. Hey, I only just met him. Can we do business if I don't include him? Are you a member of the Mages Guild? No. Then no, I'm but sorry. the problem I have is very magical in nature, and I think it would interest you, and I'm going to bodily take the broken <laughs> Welkin stone out and physically distance myself from Razor while he does whatever the emotional crisis is that he's having. Uh, and show it to the wizard mage man. He stopped, so he's like, he was walking away and almost turning his back yep. on you, and he sees you pull out this huge crystal, and he's like, <laughs> well, what is this? I'd be willing to tell you all about it if you'd be willing to give us a little more detail on why Razor has been kicked out. We might even be willing to part with it for a fair sum of gold, and then you'll never have to see me again. He hasn't... I mean, I wasn't there. I've heard the name, and I've seen the uh, result of his work. You've been to Vivek? What's I've, left of it? I passed through. I was uh, doing cleanup. Uh, regardless, you're an academic man, such as myself. Surely you can see that you can put past uh, certain events to further academic research. Glances over at the giant <laughs> crystal. Yes. Oh, God. I can give a guest entry to your Bosmer compatriot, and I can uh, we can bring you can come in and we can decide what to do with this. Yeah, it's not a fake. It's got the crystalline structure. Look, it runs through the hole. Uh, yes, and we can decide a fair transaction. Of course. Uh, 
goes, gets a piece, piece of paper, writes, I don't know, like a magic pen or something, friggin' writes, mm-hmm. gives the paper to you, uh, Neil Lilfinus, and uh, <laughs> gestures for you to Perfect. go to go in. To the arcane, right. which is a, a big, there's a big open courtyard. I don't remember exactly how it looks like in the in the game. It's very too small. It's gonna it's gonna be much bigger. It's a huge campus yeah. of uh, different things. And Neil, uh, as you come walking in, there are imperial. Do you see another imperial guard like wandering around, or like people? I get you know you see someone who's clearly a mage, and someone who's like clearly not a mage and just like a, a fighter or something you know wandering around in here dang fighters imperial hey insignia whatever administrator uh what's with all the heightened security i always heard the university was fairly open to the public or you know people who wanted to learn magic uh yes uh the um, Empire has, uh, the Imperial Senate decided that all available resources need to be directed to maintaining. We are at the Empire's disposal, as you see. Mm. Our magic is their magic. It's not normal, as the uh, Mages Guild and the Arcanum have operated. Independently for... Well, you won't hear me complaining about it out loud. Mm, Got it. Uh, And uh, we won't have to have to go into super details here, but uh, do you want to make a speech roll to see if you can get a good deal on that? (laughs) Uh, Razor, do you have speech? I do. Um, But they hate you. So I don't know if it's better for you to roll it with whatever negatives are going to apply, or uh, if I should give it a shot with no bonuses. Well, I yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what to tell you. I mean, my speech is <laughs> so like you decide. Uh, I believe in you. As long as we get enough gold to get supplies, so I can ditch you guys and go into the woods, I'm good. Right. All right. Attempting to sell uh i do how uh i was gonna make bodhi do it because she's the one who got oh. to go inside oh okay. that's you fair guys, we can we can rearrange it so that uh rob's the one who rolls but no nah, we'll give it a shot can i tap anything for this none of my stuff is social <laughs> uh for some reason you should have fate points. We haven't done a lot of rolling this session. Yeah, uh, I'll use my natural instinct uh, to cut off Razor anytime he's about to pipe up on something, and I can oh. see the mage is like, "What the well, fuck?" I'll be like, "I'm not. Hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm not going to say anything." So okay, you're good there. Uh, maybe natural instincts go into haggling as well. That's what we're going to go with. Have a fate point for a plus two. I'll take it. I'll take it. Which makes that a fair. Is that terrible? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Kind of go back and forth. Uh, the big sticky point here is that it's broke. It's broken. Yep. Well, we um, have all the bits. Though, uh, the story you tell, you tell them, how much uh, uh, of it do you tell? Because that's an interesting in and of itself. Um if I can sense that he's interested in it and it will get me more money out of this deal, all of the details, the Falmer, the the right. crystal itself, where it was found, its positioning, the lights went on when we got it in the socket very briefly and then somebody chucked it and the Falmer fucked it up or it would be fine. It broke. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably pipe up and uh, just give better description. <laughs> An academics description versus my all wilderness right. nonsense. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, that'll be they they uh, two hundred and twenty septums is what they offer. Um, Razor, you might know off the top of your head that your average well, uh, f- you know, a fully functional average Welkin stone will get you fifty. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is probably the best we're gonna get. 
do we want to sell the other one while we're here or keep it for your magic stuff? Uh, I mean, I suppose we could just sell it. Speaking of fully functioning, we have one other one. It's not nearly as big, but we have <laughs> no use full. for it. Uh, well, we'll let you keep your, your two on your... Uh... On your speech <laughs> roll, so that'll bump it up just a little bit. Oh well, I guess they're they're valued at fifty. I didn't actually look to see because when you sell them, you don't get the full. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll just get just to make it easy. We're not going to worry about that. So, okay. um, fifty-four septums is what you're able to get from that. I look uh, stoic as usual, but body language is happy, relaxed. Mm -hmm. I now have. Some finances with which to try and ditch these people. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, the um, the mage uh, he he really looks down his nose at you, uh, Razor. Mm -hmm. Really, only does most of the talking with Bosmer Lady, and I guess you guys are in the vicinity enough to all talk, but. Uh, uh, doesn't actually want much to do with you. Oh yeah. So once no. you guys and get the, the transaction done. And I'm fine. Razor's stoic. You know, just like oh, fair. It's a fair deal. Completely just rolling off any insult that is being placed on him right now. Cool. So the real party split was stoic versus non-stoic. I got it. <laughs> Uh, real emotions versus uh, heavily controlled. Okay. Uh, what do you do to, to sleep for that night? Then. I mean, if they can't stop us from sleeping in the Arboretum, I'm there. You can bunk with me, I guess, but that's up to you. It's also free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh fair i suppose i'll just sleep here then you go to the arboretum you find it's cool there's all sorts of trees and things uh it's not as well maintained as you know you might have perfect <laughs> yeah uh but uh you guys you were able to find a spot to settle down uh for the night the chill night it is as uh the cozy um, not nearly as cozy as Mara's temple, where mm -hmm. they have uh, you know a fire that warms mm -hmm. the room and beds and, and blankets. Well, it's hard to be beautiful and uncomfortable at the same time. You see. <laughs> well, uh, Truth. Uh, well, Neil Lilfeneth, uh I apologize. That did not go as smoothly as I had anticipated. Well. The shock on your face told me as much, though I am curious what you have done that leveled the city and the magic that goes with it, as you can only be very powerful to do something of that nature. It uh, obviously is a point of contention, and I will not pry. But, uh... <clears throat> well... It was uh, it was the oblivion crisis. So, uh, <clears throat> ultimately, uh, a group of us did what we thought we had to do. Suffice to say that uh, <clears throat> there was uh, substantial collateral damage. I'm sure the cost was worth it. I'm not too sure. Uh, very stiffly and awkwardly, like, pat your shoulder twice, and then immediately roll over and try and go to sleep. Uh, as do I. So I'm not I'm not an emotional comfort person. Nope, neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Again, it's a good thing we left you two together. Yep. Right? Best support system. Can healthily deal with your emotions. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Morning, Dons. And oh, it... nope. I've got some stuff to do tonight. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I'm totally sneaking out. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, this is unexpected. Okay. Do any of us yeah. notice? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm how, trying what's to the situation, situation like. Where are you? Uh, where are you sneaking out to? Uh, I know where the shed is, and I need to go to the shed. Cool. Um, I'm bringing some venison. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. Wow. How, so you grab up some venison. You uh, Do you want to stealth? Do you want to try? Do you even... uh, I am, in fact, trying to steal stealth, yes. Because uh, I'm going to, you know, and I don't know what the, like, guard situation is at the temple or anything, but uh, I will sneak out as sneakily as I can. Give me a roll. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have no aspects that are relevant to this. All well, of my aspects check. are look at me better. <laughs> 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 um so uh you get spotted. Um, I imagine you're being sneaky kind of through this whole thing. You you may even get noticed uh, as you're leaving the the temple, but uh, nobody really does anything at that in, in that situation. It's not until you're actually like you know quickly moving through an alleyway that uh, a shadow shadowy form steps out of the uh, in front of you and. Uh, Kind of a gruff voice is a, uh, where are we going tonight? Hey, when and I didn't happen to notice him leaving, did we? Roll perception. Uh, you just have to beat my, I mean, hopefully they just have to beat my stealth. <laughs> uh, but yeah, at some point you notice he's gone. Like you go to check on his, you're like, you just have this thought, like, oh, I'm, you know, you, you've been worrying about him, keeping an eye on him this whole time. You guys have like separate. Oh no, we'll make it easy. You're in the same room, and you like look over at his bed, and you're like, huh, he must, he's not there. Oh, he sure has been at the bathroom for a really long time, or you know, something like that. And you realize he's 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 gone. Oh no. Uh, uh, do you know how to track? I could, I could, uh, through city. I I would like to say that I did leave the Elder Scroll behind, side note, for this trip. So it's actually like on the table there, where the food was. Oh, yeah, you might notice that there's missing food as well. Hmm. He Do you want to stay here and guard that, and I'll go try to find him? Whatever you feel is necessary. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I feel we shouldn't leave that alone. That's for sure. Then I will stay, and you will go. I'm gonna try to like ask anyone I see roaming about if they saw him leave. Uh, yeah, one of them is like, yeah, I think I saw, it wasn't just a few minutes ago, just out the, out the door. Yeah, I'll see if I can follow him somehow. Roll a, uh, roll per, per another perception? <laughs> Let's see if I do better this time. Hey, I did great. Um, yeah, like uh, you have to kind of track track him around a little. Really, the thing is pro- probably dawns on you as you're following where you think he went is like this is going back towards. Yeah. Uh, the the house to back towards the the market district with where we met. What's his butt? Um. Yeah. When I realize that, I'll I'll hasten my pace uh so greg yes a uh, guy steps out in front of you veil um, what do we have here uh just a traveler through the city at night uh 
No concern, I imagine. Um, you if you would excuse me. You have food. Oh, uh, I do. It is for someone in need. I'm in need. Yeah, okay. Um, I need to keep some of it, though, if you just want a bite. Yeah, just a bite. Just one little bite. Come here. Uh, I unwrap, like, a, a little piece of the, uh, and, you know, like, tear a piece off, and I kind of, like, a step forward with it and my hand outstretched. He latches onto your wrist and starts pulling, trying to pull you into him. Now, sir, um, I'm going to start trying to cast Calm, because that's how I respond to these situations. <laughs> cast Calm? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. That's fantastic. <laughs> nice. There's a there's a small chance he could. <laughs> nope. Uh, so he grabs onto you very forcefully and he, he starts you know t ripping the rest of the food out of your hand and you can also f like you he's feeling around your body he like checks your hips looks for you think he's checking for weapons and then you get your spell he's not restraining you though and so you get your spell off hits him and he uh let's see yeah he kind of relaxes um he's still got the food in his hand and he kind of steps back from you and he's like oh this is this is pretty good i try and take half of the food back <laughs> uh I mean, if he's... Uh, yeah, so he's got a little bit in his hand. He didn't get all the rest away from you. So he's just got basically the little bit you were offering. Okay, great. Um, I say, uh, you have a good evening, and uh, scurry off. Cool. Bertolas, you're, you're, you you think you hear something. You almost sounds like Vale's voice up ahead. And you come around the corner, and there's a guy at the end of the alleyway um, standing there eating some food. Bill, you're uh, you're a redhead, right? Yes, I am. Hey, friend, you didn't happen to see a ginger come through here just a minute ago, did you? Can't see hair color in the dark. <laughs> Was somebody just here with you? Oh, yeah. I, I tried to rob a kid. Uh, you shouldn't do that. Noted. I'll just breeze by him and continue after Vale. Cool. So Vale, uh, you you maybe even notice at some point that you're being tailed. I don't know. You you get no more problems. You get to the um, storage shed. Get I'll try to be stealthy. Tailed by. <laughs> A not very stealthy Bertolas. That was terrible. Oh, I see. Doing good, team. <laughs> what do you do, Vale? I mean, it's your. It's kind of. Um, I. I just keep going. I don't think. This you're, is just to notice bird of loss, right? Yeah, you're you're there though. You you make it. You don't run into any more uh, things, and if you want, you can stop and have Bertolus join you. If you if yeah, you I don't. Why don't wait for him? No, you don't wait. You um, I I realize I don't have the key. I wasn't thinking, but I try and like, um, I I knock. I guess. Then, I don't think I try it first. On the storage shed. Um, no, there's uh the storage shed. You notice it is locked. It does not open. No, nobody, nobody responds. 
I knock a little harder. No response. I mean, I try and open it, but you said it's locked, right? So that fails. Yeah. Fail. Keep um, it down. I still have some. Uh, I cast detect life inside there, just out of curiosity. Uh, yeah. Uh, spend. A, you got the extra mana for it. I still have some magicka. Magicka. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you cast it. Uh, there's nobody inside. You can see, you can get the faint kind of through other buildings and stuff. You get a faint reading of life in there, and then there's somebody uh, walking up behind you as well. Well, I turn back to Bertolus. That's probably for the best. I'm going to assume that that's things working themselves out the way they should. Um, what are you doing out here, Bertolus? That's Making so sure you don't die? <laughs> oh, well. Still alive so far. Power yeah, so Mara far. Has, uh, helped me. How many muggers can you do that to before one gets you? I'm. You do worry, don't you? <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of my job to look after you. But uh, here you are. Uh, let us uh, return. Um, I, although, yes, uh, do need to find some more uh, some more for this, and I hold up the venison. So uh, I on have the a way place in my belly, I think you've already had enough, don't you think? Wow, I mean, wow. We don't know the next time we're gonna eat. I think he just called you fat. <laughs> yes, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Um, no, okay, I, no, but the, yes, we, but trust, um, and have faith and know that your next meal will not come too far away. For, for a lot of people here, they do not have that. So I will go and, uh, find someone, find who has an empty belly that this may fill. Yeah, all right. Uh, but, so that's what I do. I find a beggar on the way back kind of thing and just, like, give him some medicine. And, cool. And, um, uh, you don't know this, but uh, this this makes the difference, right? This person, this random person that you give this, you know, as their life. Who knows what happens to the world in our adventure, whatever impacts it. But, but for some reason, this kind offering of venison is going to... It matters. And I slap Bertolus on the shoulder, and we head back to the uh, Temple of Beauty and Love. Not just the Temple of Love. I think that's different. I try to go to the Temple of Love uh, initially. They are right next to each other, so it's possible we could get confused. But, oh, it's this one, right? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's kind of dark, but I think it's the other one, Bertolus. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Right. That one. Okay. All right. You guys make your way home, back to bed, come back in. Um, I'm going to, so we're getting, we're at uh, 8.30 my time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting kind of, kind of like to our, to our end here. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys where I wanted to get to, uh, which is to have the conversation with uh, the person who is the Sybil of Debella. <laughs> That's not a place. <laughs> uh <laughs> And to, to really and to really set the stage, this has been the prologue of the game. Up and, and I was okay. thinking this would be the last one. You guys would under you, the quest in the MacGuffin would be like, oh, here's what you gotta go do, and that's mm -hmm. where we'd get. Uh, though, so do we wanna do you wanna push on to that, or do you wanna have that conversation out of character? Because I was thinking also that we would have a break after this. Mm. Or I mean, I'd like to push on. I can push on. I'm down. Push on to the actual final conversation. Yep. End of the yep. prologue. Have our conversation. Know where the rest of the game's going. Cool. Right. Got it. We'll try not to do derail things with role playing again. <laughs> I. Uh, that was okay, no, no promises. Yeah, yeah. no promises. I actually, no promises. honestly, <laughs> it's better than me uh, having half uh, half assed railroad ideas. So you know. <sighs> yeah. We'll get where you want us to go eventually. We're just probably going to take a little while to get there. 
We've got, we got, we have, we have baggage. <laughs> we? I don't know about that. No, you have baggage too. Don't, you lost your baggage when we have to this. find yours for you. <laughs> we have to find, we have to find Wayne's baggage. That's the problem. Uh, but we're already derailing, so. Yep. Oh, right. <clears throat> so anyways, something we meet back up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you meet back up in the morning. Uh, right at the, you know, outside of the Temple of Mara in the Temple District. And, Congratulations, uh, Bertolus, you didn't screw it up. What's the plan? Yep, no problems at all. <laughs> well, what, were, what are you talking about? I mean, Vale went on a little midnight expedition to who knows what I had end up staying. Oh. oh. It's okay, Wynn. You can tell me later. It went fine. <laughs> Nothing happened to Vale. He definitely did not almost get mugged. Well, almost. Congratulations, Vale. I did find a very aggressive homeless person who needed some food. Though. Yeah, that was a mugger. <laughs> I <clears throat> trust you handled it very he was, well. He was very feely. Well, mm. as long as you still have the scroll, uh, we should continue to find the Sybil of Debella. Yeah, he was smart enough to leave that behind, at least. Hmm. I'm just looking at the chat now. He what? He left it behind. I was. I was Wynn still was there. there. <sighs> okay. Well, good. I'm glad you didn't just leave it on the counter. No. 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 It, we. It, oh. Um. Nope. You can tell me later, Wynn. Okay. No. We, wait. Wynn, you you didn't leave it there, right? No, of course not. I pull it out. <laughs> wow! Don't pull it out. Oh, it's just a piece of paper. Not in yeah. front of the kids. <laughs> Let's just go inside, talk to this lady in this holy temple, and move on with our lives. Matter of fact, I don't even know if I need to be here. I can go purchase our supplies for wherever we're well, I suppose I would Wait, have to purchase? know how Did far we're money? going. Yes. Yeah, we well, how much sold... Did we get? Let's see, we got 200 and... Let me just double check. 274 that. septums. That's hey. about 55 septums each. That's a lot. But we may not Plus know what we need me. to purchase until we talk to the sim. Well, is that enough for armor? Right. Also, right. how am I going to convince you to stay <laughs> on the hey, quest on line <laughs> if yep. you're not even there? I, I know what I need to purchase, but if I'm going to help you all buy supplies... I suppose I should know the distance. Mm -hmm. We should wait until after we know what it is we're doing. Yes. And it is an Elder Scroll. Fine. Do you really want to miss this? It's a once in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Of course. <sighs> let's let's get this on. So, uh, Temple of Debella, I'm assuming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, as again the yeah, look at those fancy uh, statues of people having making love and stuff. Finally, we get to go inside. Uh, there is now I have some money coming out. Just as you guys are going in, is a uh, uh, a beefy, I mean chiseled jaw, Hercules looking fellow, um, wearing like very simple. <laughs> morning garb um sand like sandals uh he's very handsome looking uh for serious. context are we talking kevin sorobos hercules are we talking Ooh. disney animated hercules kevin. are we talking the rock hercules Ooh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. they're all it's different strokes for different folks but i feel like it's kind of important that is very important definitely not disney right uh yes i'm gonna say the answer is yes no, not Disney. Yes. Yes to all of those. Oh, great. <laughs> He's a very handsome muscle man. He's got yes. all of them. <laughs> a little bit of, looks a little bit like Kevin Sorbo, a little bit like The Rock. Nice. They have people in, like this at the beauty temple. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he, I mean, doesn't, he notices you, steps mm -hmm. around you, lets you walk by, um, mm -hmm. carries himself off with the gait of a soldier. 
I uh, assess him. <laughs> I turn to look and I, I look at him. I think I could take him. Oh, take him, could you? Are you checking him out? I probably actually say without the inflection. Fucking stoic. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure you say. <laughs> the and inflection he, is carried. Yep. He may have had a uh, kind of a silly smile on his face as he was leaving. He's like, uh huh. Yeah. No. In a fight. This is Ted. Ted's having a great day. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, what? <Fidelity. laughs> right. Um. Anyway, you guys go inside, uh, mm -hmm. and it and it it does. Uh, there's there's they don't have a person standing right there for you. There are people inside. Mm -hmm. They're doing normal uh priestly you know normal ch church type things inside but there are side doors and you imagine there's probably also you know up and down rooms as well um who do you go to what's the what's the i mean we go i, I go up to whoever seems to be in charge here <laughs> And tell them that we're here to seek the we're here to speak with the Sybil. Um they nod. Uh very uh they put their arm, you know, they grab you by the, the shoulder very caressingly and uh are like right this way. Um the Sybil takes speaks with all who wish a word. Hmm. The females here aren't that bad either. It's a very interesting city. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. When? What? I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> booty is booty no matter where it, or whom it is. We do know that you're a booty girl, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, the writers of Rohan. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, focus! Ah. Carl, Carl Urban? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh I mean, that God. was his name, right? It was something like <laughs> Carl Goodass Bur Bur Urban. <laughs> Good yes. yeah. Carl Urban is still a nice Well, if that was the case, Bodie would just be gone. Like, <laughs> Oh, sorry, he exists? Um, I'm going to need a minute, guys. <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. Christina and I are going to need a minute. <laughs> just a minute. Anyway, uh, focus. You guys are led um, down <laughs> one of the side... <laughs> Uh, corridors down some stairs into um, looks like some uh, private chambers, and there are um, on the like the walls here. Uh, calling they're not paintings; they are moving like uh, uh, threads of like magic light that kind of glimmer and move around um, and. There is a uh, a woman, a single woman, uh, wearing simple uh, clothing. It does not cover up a whole bunch of her body, but it's also not necessarily like uh, scandalous. Um, and she is look watching the the lights move around this room. Um, as they kind of intersect and, and mingle and spread out and pass along and change color a little bit. It's like, you know that scene, uh, uh, it's in Star Wars, and it's the Pal Palpatine and, and uh, Anakin are, are like watching a weird mm -hmm. light show? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Yeah. A weird dance thing? Yeah, it's like this weird light. Uh, you, we may, yeah, you may even see... The, looks like human humanoid forms and mer forms kind of moving in the light uh yeah and she's this uh, and as you approach she uh, her eyes fall on each one of you and they fall on veil last and she smiles i do want to be clear that veil is completely distracted at this stage <laughs> by her or I mean, um, by the way, the, the things she, going on, but she's part of that. So she is 
gorgeous. And I'm going to leave whatever that means to you, gorgeous, like just... Yeah, the definition. Yeah, uh, just has those qualities. Um, and she looks at... Uh, yeah, she looks at you, Vale, and the rest of you, and... Hello. I... Uh, you seek the words of Debella? If I haven't already, I'll hand the scroll to Razor. Oh, okay. No, wait, actually, scratch that. I'm just, I'm distracted. I'm wait, hanging out. Don't I have the, the the scroll, or did we end up giving it to somebody else? I'll just, <clears throat> I'll I, just, I'll, I'll either I'll... nudge one of you to give me the damn scroll. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so tempted to tell you to do what I said in chat. <laughs> it's, it's, you do it. I mean, you no, can, we no, can run no, away no. together. Win. Uh, okay. No, okay. Nope. I'm, <laughs> I'm taking the scroll by force this time. As, as Win and I whisper to each other very briefly, Razor just goes, "Nope." Takes the scroll out, hands <laughs> nope. it to the nice lady. Here you go, ma'am. Uh, worked out well the last time. Our no, chance to not. foil this carefully constructed plot has now gone out the window. She uh, takes the scroll, um, kind of looks surprised for a brief moment, and then looks at it and is like, where did you get this? And why have you brought it to me? It was given to us by a very desperate man who told us to bring it here. And that was all he would say. He also left a letter. A letter? Yes. All eyes turn to Veil. Uh, pulling my eyes from the walls and the stuff, I, I turn to her and... Um, yes, he left a letter. I, I'm sure it is, someone, it is someone that you knew. Someone that you knew well. Um, May I and then I hand it to her and I say, uh, love is something that makes you turn back and look when it's gone. Oof. We should always have our eyes open for love. For love is present everywhere. And she takes the note. Uh, looks at it. And like, like, the, the per, like right at the exact right moment as she's like, you know, the music swells and whatnot, like a single tear like drips down her, her eye or something like that. And she uh, rubs it away. Um, folds up the the note and s slides it into like a pocket that you you can almost see the the paper through the her uh, uh, the material of her skiff shirt thingy. Um, uh, have you looked at it? Have you looked at the scroll? Have you opened no, it? Have you read it? That's, no. Reading the scroll is a bad idea. Yes. It's very dangerous. You, uh, it is amazing that you have made it this far, but I think it may have been... She holds up the, the scroll. It's not an accident. No. Elder Scrolls are very purposeful. They... They don't present themselves to people for no reason. They have a will of their own, as it were. Yes, and without the proper training, they can force a reader to go blind. Mm -hmm. Poor, uh, poor Garrus was... Only had some of the training. Mm. He um, was alive when you spoke to him. He's not anymore. We had a uh, incident uh, involving some Altmer and uh, Daedroth. Um, she takes a moment. Uh, and then puts a smile on her face and says, and now everything is as it is meant to be. Uh, 
Garrus's message says that we were right. He and I had been working together for some time, staying one step ahead, one step ahead of the uh, the Morag Tong. Mm. Oh my! That's the Morag Tong. <clears throat> A group of the Morag Tong are a group of uh, dark elf assassins. Mm-hmm. Why would you need to be ahead of them? Because they're assassins. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, somebody, they... somebody paid them to go after them. So that's how that works. Are they? Are they still after you? I hope not. Though here I am safe. And so here I will remain. Mm. Doesn't seem like much of a life. Are are they going to be after us? She looks around the room. Um, Yeah. Uh, I hate to say this, but being a Sybil sort of means staying here. Your religions are quite weird. There. Their religions. There. There. I mm. will need to look at this Elder Scroll myself. Uh, well, I mean, you are a Sybil, so you have ties to the Divines, which might help you. I've also had training with the Cult of the yeah. Ancestor Moth. Oh, well. Then if that's the case, I think you're the best qualified for it. Huh? Do you think... (laughs) Do you think the Elder Scroll shows you in the room or outside the room when I attempt to read it? Inside, because these people don't want other people to know there's a scroll here, right? Uh, I mean, outside outside would be fine. So we can leave. Uh, no offense, uh, your holiness, but, uh, the Morag Tong are a little bit beyond what I'm comfortable dealing with. An Elder Scroll is, is not too much, but... That's on them. I just helped them get to the city. I think you will be needed. Uh... Bosmer, are you... They might need help getting to Valenwood. I can take them to the border, but uh, I'm not welcome in Valenwood. Valenwood? Is it close to where I need to go? Technically, it shares a border with Hammerfell. We were attempting to track down what um, materials sources were needed to reforge a um, a perfect uh, red diamond shit what's it called amulet of kings yeah but uh, that's not the, oh, the yeah, amulet sure. of kings is the whole amulet the the diamond at the center is the red something I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, we want to make one more of those to um, rebalance the three realms. Etheria, Mundus, and Oblivion. These, There are four, four materials that we needed to gather. We had studied and Garrus was con- out confirming that this is what we needed to do before he died. Mm. And I just don't think it's a coincidence that one of the materials is in Valenwood. The soul of growth <sighs> the 
preferred tools. Mm -hmm. What is what is so important about balancing three universes, or what was it again? Three kingdoms. The three realms: Etheria, Mundus, or Nern, mm -hmm. which is where we are, and Oblivion. So there's something that puts these three realms out of sync. Is that what happened? Just this apocalyptic thing? Is that what caused it? Mm. Right? Tell you, during the Oblivion Crisis, Martin Septum consumed the power that was in the Amulet of Kings and summoned the Avatar of Akatosh. And... If I can think of more proper nouns to put in here, I will. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, that did something to... It closed all of the Oblivion gates throughout the world, but something has been wrong. Hmm. Conjuration magic no longer works. There's a block, something stopping things from traveling between oblivion and this world mm. and we thought we could write this and make it the the, the land around here is dying the, the 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 fish in the lake aren't as bountiful the crops don't grow as well the the magic that uh the god Tiber Septum, when he when he ascended to godhood, he he enchanted Cyrodiil, and that that magic is no longer working. We need to bring it back. And your gods aren't helping you. No. Well, if they can't, what do you think this break is? through? Then. Mm hmm. Ah, so part one of the realms has the gods in it. Got it. God it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I cannot let the land die, even if it is not that of the god of nature. It is still worth keeping. So you're coming with us. Yes. At least as far as I can. I don't understand. Good, because we need you. Yep. Part of this. So, when the Oblivion Crisis happened, do you remember the Oblivion Crisis? I remember Probably bits not. and pieces. But when... there was nothing that directly involved us in the desert. Out in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> when the danger broke through here... Um, uh, oh, sorry. Blood. So when, uh, when when you say desert, there you know not a lot out in the middle of the desert. Um, the something uh, the symbol of Debella is is you know peaks up, at you know like you said desert. Sorry, keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a mortal here broke a very powerful magical artifact to banish the Daedra back to where they came. Specifically, a very powerful Daedric lord. Um, mm -hmm. whose name probably means nothing to you. Uh, and in doing so, he has not only shut the jaws of oblivion, he has shut the gates between the three realms. That realm, Those realms bring balance when they work together. The energy that is magic comes from those realms, including the way the gods touch the world. Even the gods of your tribe, if you have them, can no longer work. Mm -hmm. All the land will suffer unless balance can be restored. Which means uh, reestablishing the connection to Oblivion as well. But surely there are more better options than us. And I looked out at like my poorly like hewn leather garments and my like notched up sword. <laughs> um, I would agree. <laughs> Empress Alessia was a slave. Yeah. And yet she founded an empire. And the Elder Scroll has brought you here. And will take you home, I assume. A 
tool of fate. The yeah, cool. there is a. Uh, we don't fully know what it is. I likely, I think it's a metaphor, but the song of life is in the Alakir desert. What did you say? The song of life. Yes. Yes. It is one of the materials we will need to gather. Okay. Oh. It's not likely is... a, a literal song. No. Oh. But it's a hard journey that not many can do. But luckily we are blessed by the gods on this journey. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> And we have you, Win. Yep. You know the desert's best. The gods do provide a guide when one is needed. So. I don't what suppose are these any of these. Two? Anything else on the shopping list? Well, since it's nine o'clock, we need to wrap this up. Uh, yes. Yep. The uh, there is a vessel of magica at Red Mountain. And uh, the blood of the dragon at, uh, well, our, fur, our clues lead us to Senkertor, though it might be somewhere nearby. It was recently rediscovered by the hero of Cyrodiil. Mm hmm So yeah, with that we're gonna wrap it up. We're no no big no big cliffhangers here. Those are the four. So you got Blood of the Dragon, which is uh, it's at Sinkertor, which is in uh, it's up northwest from here. Mm -hmm. You got uh, the Soul of Growth in uh, Valenwood near there. There my my notes say near Elden Root. <laughs> uh, it's uh, a difficult thing to track down. With a big old question mark. Uh, the Vessel of Magicka, Red Mountain, and then the Song of Life, the Alakir Desert. You can do those in any order you want. Any, see, you can do those. Ooh, so that's something to stuff. think about uh, and, uh, until we get together again. Not next week for sure. I, I was thinking that we would take that I would do this in chapters, right? So this is the prologue, and then we would take a break, maybe run some other games, do something else on Sunday night, let other people play who might want to play, whatever. Um, so no game next week, but after that, we'll do something. Uh, are we mm -hmm. doing one November 1st? Day after Halloween? I don't know how many of us are planning on partying hard uh, this year right. in our homes. All of uh, our, not me, I work. <laughs> All of our crazy solo parties. It's definitely yeah. something we can talk about more. We'll get the uh, schedule figured out. But uh, uh, okay, yeah, think about which of those four you would want to do as a group, and yeah. well, I know can... which one Win is going to go for. It. And let me know which one you want to do first, because then I can actually fully flesh yeah. out that quest line instead of. Uh, when do you want to do your song of life? Is that what you're pushing towards? That's what Wynn is pushing towards. Cool. I'm going to back that horse because I don't want to go to Valenwood. <laughs> well, I hope you know Valenwood's going to be second. Why? Because there was one. Uh, Technically, there's one that's close to us right now in Sankrator. Sankrator is the closest. So. Uh, that's true. Well, I'm going to back anybody that doesn't want to go to Valenwood first. But Wynn currently gets my support. Uh, if I will, uh, happy to be on this journey. <laughs> yeah, that's fine because I don't want to go to Red Mountain anyway. But you're the one, Greg. You're the chosen one. Yep, that's right. The... That's why I'm happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna need to sacrifice you for you know the balance of all things. It's fine. Yeah. I'm sure I, mean, I survived through what? this just fine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yep. okay. He's the hero. He's fine. He'll be fine. I'll be great. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nothing bad's gonna happen to me. I'm the like divine chosen one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I have mean, you, as for uh, me, you talked to Martin Septum recently. Oh, right, he died. Well, that's well, because he wasn't the chosen one. 
<laughs> yeah, he was he was the archetypical hero that dies at the end. So you know. uh, you're okay. gonna be fine because they're gonna stab me instead. Right. And, Perfect. Uh, and well, I, I will not make any comments about I'm gonna all be of your survival. That tells you to fly, you fools. If, if <laughs> what was that, Greg? Stab you instead, then you should probably put up a better fight. <laughs> I'm just saying that I don't have any uh, comments about any of your survivability. That's fair. I fully expect to die. Oh yeah. I'm not I'm not going to not fight it, but I fully expect to die. My character wants to make it home and stay home. <laughs> Evil grin. So, Rob. to the desert? Mhm. To the desert. Desert. Yep. Great Wee. desert. I mean, would it make a more logical loop to go get the blood of the dragon first if it is the closest and then to the desert? Eh. Still desert. I mean, we're gonna have to come back this way. We're gonna have to decide this to, right, right. To now. go to Red Mountain. Okay. So. Let's wrap we're up. Let's say right. goodbye to everybody who's watching on the yeah. stream. Oh, bye! Oh, Shout bye. out to the Dietrich princes for being so active and right. on point. You guys Goddamn. are doing a great job. It's so much fun interacting and then reading what you guys are doing. It's great. They, they're really trying to sell us stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like. I mean, they're doing really good tempting though. You yeah, cannot have you my eyebrows. Stuff. They're Good trying character to character interactions. <laughs> All right. What? Okay. Ending the stream. Bye. Yep. Bye. Bye. Oh. Uh, FYI, Casey, I finally have a backstory. Cool. You know, Casey, no, I asked you. I asked you if we're having game next week, and you said, "Oh, I, think I you misunderstood." Thought I meant, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I misunderstood. Yeah, so the my the idea was to do this in chunks. I mean, we kind of have had Spart like we missed. So we played two weeks and they had a week off, and we played two weeks again. So if we wanted to get back to it sooner, I'm happy to do that. Um, but I figured I wanted to make this so that we could do this in chunks, do four ish, you know, sessions per chapter, and then in between those, a we t we can take breaks. Uh, but also we can run other stuff and change up the group a little bit because I think mm -hmm. like Lucas and I don't know Andrew or mm -hmm. Jen or Dean would would love to play or something. Right. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Or so we can just keep pressing forward and not. You know, I mean, I'm sure. more than uh, happy to do something next week. Do it. If to run something? Yeah, I'll run something. Ooh, it. It's my life right now, running things. So let's do it. <laughs> so I was thinking, cause, like, I also have like just a really quick like. I still want to run my Naruto game, but not Naruto. <laughs> that never got to be ran. I don't oh, know. I'm also Astro happy Max. to play. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I still want to play it, Christina. I I, rem yeah. I remember when we were about to play it. Hashtag bitter. And then yeah, <laughs> no, I totally justified, honestly. Oh, yep. what happened? Oh, just stuff amongst BSP retreat stuff. Ah, uh, we, it's, I mean, it's not, I mean, just I think mainly, the, like, we it's didn't justified. achieve what we were supposed to achieve. We were going to play, well, so we started playing Lucas's game first, right? Yes, we did. And uh, then halfway, like, not even halfway through that, uh, 30 minutes into it, he's like, uh, you know what, guys, I think I, I've totally screwed this Although up and now i'm realizing really i need good. to just totally something different and like i was intrigued by i this liked thing. it yeah. yeah and then we he was like let's we'll wrap it up and we're like okay well now we got time let's do christina's game and we handed out characters we started talking about the stuff and then you know we were like molly especially i think was not feeling <laughs> keeping gaming at that moment and we just mm -hmm. didn't play yep. that story it's not super secret or anything no but anyways, yep. So I mean, you, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go. So peace, guys. Oh, have a good night. You. I can't wait for our character's relationship to grow. I'm definitely probably gonna try and flirt with Jin or er, Jin. Win. Win. Sorry, wrong nope. game. Uh, even though I'm still wrong. a KF, and I'm gonna have to figure out how that's gonna work. I don't oh think my. I've seduced Christina in a stream game yet. Not yet. No, no. I think it's mostly been uh, been Rob. Mm -hmm. Well, 
To be fair, Us- Ursula didn't seduce anybody. Oh, she was true. just yeah. the best grandmother anybody could ask for yeah, until that's she fair. died. God, she was great. Fucking still favorite seven C character. Oh, yeah. I'll I'll seduce the GM again. Okay. All right. Do it. Casey, how oh, no. you doing? Oh, yeah, no. I thought I weirdly thought you were talking about Greg. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'm... laughs> I'll seduce. I mean, you've already got okay, a protector right. dynamic going, and he's obviously attractive. His mother is Mara, so and that's like, true. I, that's true. I, I didn't. Die. I hadn't thought my character uh, was swinging that way, but I guess I didn't not think that. So <laughs> <laughs> not think that. It's like, well, I mean, who knows what That's definitely an interesting <laughs> twist. <laughs> <laughs> I protect you because I love you, you idiot! Bertolus, usually by your age, you, you kind of know. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> you kind of know which. I met Aaron! Put some. Oh, right. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, need yeah. To, I, I need to go. It's late. Sorry. All right. See you. Bye. Uh, Later. Bye-bye. Cool. Fair enough. Uh, if you've got time, Casey, there are two questions that have been brought up by the backstory change. And fulfillment. To, oh, yes, what? Um, so, the thing that I got arrested for might change in support flavor, but not in upfront. I still killed somebody for wasteful hunting, is totally what I was in jail for. Whoa. Totally. Um, or. It doesn't have to change at all, and we can leave it where it is. I think it's still pretty in character. The other thing is, I'm debating if I want to switch character archetype to outcast instead of the friendly beast. It's still very nature-focused because of what my character is, but I think both would work for what I'm going for. I just don't know how to do the friendly beast's job. (laughs) Well, I mean, I... uh... They're really vague, right? I and I just yeah. looked online and I was like, oh, what are some archetypes? Oh, this archetype calls it the friendly beast. I'm gonna throw it in there. Um, but I have no expectations of like people really having to do those well or anything. It was just okay. Really meant to be. Hey, let's give your character arc some direction. Let's give you some stereotypes and some archetypes and some really simple things to work with, and then you can build on it from there. So okay. I'm I'm fine if you want to switch your thing to the outcast. Yeah, I mean outcast does maybe have a fits. more and yeah. and honestly Christina more you, defined you know, like, one of the big things so that's in that friendly beast thing is like you don't understand society and you can't you like don't get a... in but, tune but with Christina nature has... remind others their origins yeah. and Christina creation. is like right. the friendly yeah. beast. She is... I mean I've poked a little bit at like the what it means to be human kind of thing, but not overtly enough to really commit to it and she's doing a great job at the being like but what does any of this mean how yeah. is hmm. this a helpful okay so i'm okay with that and that just shifts a little bit my in character knowledge and that's fine cool nice i'll go ahead and edit that directly uh <laughs> I'm going to lean a little bit more heavily into Edgelord, because I haven't played one yet, and this is the closest to an edgy character I think I've ever made, and I'm kind of enjoying it. It's real edgy. That's (laughs) the thing about edgy characters, is that if you go too far onto the blade, you're not on the edge anymore. you got to be... That's true. I mean, I still still like kids. I'm nice to children. It's just large groups of people I can't stand. It's like, well, or I yeah. choose to not like. Yeah. Oh man, that was that was great. I was like, officially being uh, ousted from academia. <laughs> yeah, I did I not see kinda, that coming. Was, for some reason, I thought we had clarified that that you had like gotten kicked out and they don't like you anymore. But uh, I think it's better that I was like, I like I, how we got to show that. <laughs> yeah. Like, Surprise! Like, didn't, like yep. we didn't. Like I didn't good. know that that was something that they did. Like I left. <sighs> And didn't want to come back, but I didn't realize that they had actually like kicked me out or something like that. I, I like the mage's reaction of, and you've, wait, hold on, did you say, oh, God, okay, no, we're done, I'm not talking to you anymore, yeah. I'm out. 
Yeah, I was waiting. I was really like, okay, if I could just get them to say their name, and then this, I can have this character do a double take. This NPC yep. is like, oh, wait, 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 what was your name? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Well, the, we definitely don't have anything to talk about. And I was like, I, I, I see. Talk. I see. And I see where we stand. I'm nope. so thrilled that the two least emotionally capable of dealing with that were the two to have that happen. And I am going to poke it eventually, especially since you told me verbatim what the trigger was going to be. Yeah, well, now that I've got money. Well, I've got money. Well, we've got money. The party has money, but booze is not on the supply list. Oh, it's going to be on the supply list. You'll get your stipend, don't worry. But uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Yeah, well, it'll last long enough. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. So, uh, do I happen to know enough alchemy to uh, make a beer taste bad? Or not give it the buzz? Just, you know, hypothetically. Put more into it and then slip them a potion that makes them allergic to it. <laughs> uh-huh. Get that compound that they give alcoholics. You do know that I, like I, I'm really good at alteration magic. Like paralysis spell is not off the. <laughs> yeah, but you can't kill me. You need me. No, I, it's true. We do. I fully intend not to. I just yeah. intend to stop you from messing with my drinks. You'd have to catch me. That's the problem. I'm... This is going to be a fun dynamic. <laughs> I'm Why? so excited to poke Rob as much as possible behind the mask of my stoicism. Well, you know, the funny thing is you're going to poke me and eventually it's going to backfire. Yeah, but that's okay. Cuz I'm going to be like, okay, what why 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 are you doing this to me specifically? What is your deal? What's wrong with you then? Because you need help, Rob. You're in a fortress and I need you to let me in so we can talk about it. No. Yeah? How many people are you planning on seducing? No, that's a reference to what he's doing to a character I have on Wednesday game. Oh. <laughs> I was like, no. He's being a little is, shit. This is the other side. No! <laughs> Fuck. I just don't have a deck of fate that lets me know your backstory. Right. Thanks, Micah. Cheater. <laughs> it's not my anyway. Fault. He gave me access to everyone's fucking backstory. And you used it beautifully and immediately put her on edge and on guard against you. Which is exactly what I needed in order mm -hmm. to get through that gruff exterior. I'm, Ridiculousness. In, I'm on the inside now, baby. All right. Well, I think I'm going <laughs> to go in. As we go I into might, a completely might, different game. I might game. play some video games. Yep. Yesterday, Fair I enough. played, I should, I got. I don't want to tell you about, um, Lucas wanted to show me this game. Uh, oh, I saw you guys in a chat together. Yeah, yeah. we were streaming for a while. Something. Yeah. Dragon Pass, King of Dragon Pass is what it was called. I was pretty drunk. <laughs> oh, were you? <laughs> well, we were oh, is that why you didn't answer my question? Maybe. Uh, wait, was, <laughs> was it last night? Did you message me last? Yeah. Night? Oh. Yeah. Jeez. Um. Uh, it's I, he. It, it's this like uh, 4X type game, uh, but it's from 1995 or something. Whoa. Uh, so you really just make decisions via text and it shows you a little map where you, things are. You're, you come up with the mythology of like what gods you follow and you know whose priestesses you have and what do you have slaves or thralls or what, whatnot. Uh, and we did this all and like Lucas read it in his narrator voice the entire thing. We went through the whole. We did this for four hours, <laughs> and I had a blast. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I'm glad you had fun. Man. It's, it's great. Yeah. He's a pretty pretty dedicated nerd, in a lot oh, yeah. of ways that are very impressive yeah. and mildly intimidating. Mm -hmm. He's way nerdy. He was my advisor, and I was the chief or whatever. <laughs> Sounds nice. like fun. Um. Yeah. Cool. I'll see you uh, around. Hope you guys have a good night. Yep. All right. See you later.